the new Nintendo 64. So what's the big deal and why is Toys R Us already sold out? It's the new leader of the video game pack, featuring 64-bit technology that produces amazing 3D animation, including zoom-in technology that might make you dizzy. Want a different angle? Just press a button. 
This Santa Monica Toys R Us store sold out in 15 minutes, but the store model is attracting Nintendo fans like crazy. But just how easy is it to play Nintendo 64? After all, the controller looks like it could be used on some kind of military jet. The price tag? It's $199 for the unit and $60 bucks for each game. And so far, only two games are available, but more titles are planned to be released in the months ahead. Parents, you've been warned. Nintendo 64 is very likely to produce this year's biggest holiday headache. They've sold out already. Huh? I know, but somehow I'll get it. Somehow. Somehow. I don't know how, but I'll get it. Uh -huh. Welcome, guys. Let me get this game audio up. Is that good right there? Is the music all right or is it too loud? Too low? Here, we'll do that. How's that? It, it, it's always funny watching those uh, old uh, news clips of N64 and like Ninte Super Nintendo and all that. Cause hearing these news reporters back in the day talk about video games is so cringy. Uh, in, in one part, I saw that whole news report. It was like a 10 minute segment. And uh, in, in one part, the, the, the news reporter lady, she's like, oh, and they made the music less annoying. And, and she was comparing Super Mario World to Mario 64. And I was just like, how dare you call the Super Mario World music annoying? You're like, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> Sounds good. Cool. Yeah, but the, these old news clips of these these the 90s adults that didn't understand video games. Holy shit! Like all the all the parents that were angry that you had to upgrade your your Nintendo to a Super Nintendo, and games should forever only be on the original console. The news coverage on video games will always be cringe. Oh yeah, it, it, it's so hilarious with the older crowd now. Got my simply orange right here. But yeah, for those. Uh, Ozzy, did you say you've never played this? Oh, you never played any banjo? Oh man, you're in for a treat. No, lo no joke. These games, like, this is an absolute classic. I own this one on N64, and I played it constantly. <laughs> the second one I rented. I did not own it, and I never finished it. But uh, why am I not? Really? It's bothering me. No, my mouse went flying. Hold on. Retro, what's up, man? Yeah, this game's amazing. We are playing it on Xbox 360. Actually, technically, it is uh, on the Series X. This is the Rare Replay version, which, a fun fact, this game came out on Xbox 360 for Xbox Live Arcade. When you play Rare Replay, it just downloads the 360 arcade version. <laughs> so, it's even though you play it on Xbox One or Series X, it's just the Xbox 360 arcade one. I know they play similar to DK64, but never got a chance to play them. Yeah, it's it's very much DK64. Very much. I'd say a little less cryptic. Because remember, DK64 near the end gets a little cryptic. It's kind of funny, too, because look at this. We're playing on an Xbox console. And look. We are playing a game on an Xbox console. Where the main character is playing a Nintendo Game Boy. That's a straight-up Game Boy. That's pretty cool. We'll go, we'll go to file number one. <laughs> Better than Ragnarok. Uh, it, it's more classic. More classic. Not comparable. Yes, thank you everyone for being here. This will be a very uh, 
classic retro stream. I love this game. It's so good. So good. And we're gonna try to get all the Jinjos so we can get the Jinjonator at the end. Seeing the 360 formats nostalgic. You know what I miss? I miss. You guys remember the blades? The 360 blades? It, it was like the original dashboard. I still think that's better than any Xbox dashboard they've had. The blades was just. It was simple and easy to use. Yes, you're right. I'm rather proud. My looks stand me out from the crowd. That's Gruntilda, the ugly witch. Er, but there is this girl. You know what? I never finished. I never finished, um... I forgot what it's called. Ukulele. I never finished that one. That was like a spiritual successor to this. Conker does that in his idle animation, too. I love that Conker game. Gaddy, I saw you were streaming that. So good. It's 2D. She's cute and kind, too. They can have 2D. 2D Kazooie. Or wait, no. Kazooie's not a last name. What would Banjo's last name be? The, just the bear? 2D the bear? <laughs> I miss the cool Xbox and PlayStation theme. Anyone remember the old PlayStation store? Like when the PS3 first launched? It was it was literally just a web page that it launched. It was so bad. It took Sony a little while to get the catch up to Microsoft when it came to online consoles. Hi there, Tootie. What are you going to do today? I like bottles. They have those big ass eyes. When my big lazy brother wakes up, we're going on an adventure. Yeah, it was funny because uh, I, <laughs> I, I have an uncle that uh, ever since I was a kid, I always thought he looked like Bottles because he wears his glasses and he's short and fat too. Kind of looks like Danny DeVito. And I always used to think he just looked like Bottles. If Tootie thinks she's fairer than me, I'll steal her looks and ugly she will be. Ha ha ha! Is that your brother? Where, Mr. Mole? I can't see him. Up there, in the sky. I don't think so. Who is that? Would you play this in my childhood? Would love it. I just played this on repeat. I all the three files. I would 100% each one, and eventually I would just delete one so I could start over. And I had the strategy guide because I wanted to collect everything. Watch the latest Metroid timeline. It's cool. Yeah, if anyone hasn't seen it yet, it is up. It is up on the channel currently. Oh no, she's got her. Somebody help. Banjo, wake up. He's lazy like Link. I love the way he talks. <laughs> the whole game. Let's get outside. There's trouble. Banjo's one of my mains for Smash. Oh, I forgot he was in that. I completely forgot they added him in there. I need to play some more Smash. I haven't played Smash in ages. Oh, yeah, I can't do anything at the beginning here. You gotta learn the moves. Because apparently Bottles is a, is a combat expert of some sort. Taking a break from Super Chats to gift memberships. OT, much to do at work. Don't worry about it, Lee. You're good. Appreciate you being here anyway. Sure is a strange looking buddy, Banjo. Can it talk? Better than you can, Goggle Boy. Kazooie's a girl, right? What was all that noise about? Where's my sister Tootie? The ugly the, the ugly witch Gruntilda swooped down on the sky and grabbed her. Calm down, Geeky. We'll get her back. Where'd she go? She flew up to her mountain lair. It's really dangerous, so you'll probably need some training before you go up there. Press A if you want me to teach you some basic moves. Or press B if you think you're already good. I, I, whatever. I know how to play video games. Decline training. My daughter was playing this yesterday. I, I wanted to introduce her to it. Man, kids nowadays don't have the patience. <laughs> in, in her defense, like, the, she's, she's been learning how to read. She's really good at reading. But she, she's not, you know, like, some games, like, when they go too fast, you can't read what they're saying in time. This game's kind of like that. So sometimes she, I would have to ask, like, tell her uh, how to do a move. But she lost interest in the game pretty quick. Different generation, man. 
Kazooie is female, that's what I thought. <laughs> Kazooie's a dude, it's a homie. Nah, yeah, Kazooie's a girl. You said you didn't need my help, so you're on your own. What an asshole. You know what? No, I don't want your help. I remember how to do this. Look, I could jump. And I could attack. And I could fly. Screw you, bottles. <laughs> what a jackass. So, I remember there were puzzle pieces, musical notes, and honeycombs, right? I think that was it. Love the music in this. God bless Grant Kirkhope. Is he the one that did the music? I don't know his name. I remember the, the mission I liked, or the, the world, I guess you call it. The world I really liked was the, um, the haunted house area. Oh my god, this plays so much better with the second analog stick than on the N64. Because that is annoying-ass C-buttons. I can just move it around with, with the right stick. Never played this game for Elite. It's good. Promise you. Oh yeah, and the Jinjos. I like when you get them like, Jinjo! There's no overworld map either, right? I don't think he needs it. He also did the music for DK64 and Goldite, so he sounds like a rare employee. Man, I miss old school rare. Like, these games, you just don't get these kind of games anymore. I know they did with Ukulele, and like, what, Super Lucky's Tale they tried to do? But, like, man, these games, every time Rare came out with, like, a new 3D platformer, like, you were in for a treat. I mean, DK64, they had this, what else? Um, Jet Force Gemini is another one they had, which is outstanding. That, is that on Rare Replay? That is, right? I gotta stream that sometime. I used to love Jet Force Gemini. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Look out for me. I'm an extra life. Very cool. What's on the pause? Okay, there. Are they anyone remember how many notes? Were there a hundred? There was like a hundred per level, right? It looks like Cross Bridge Conquer and Bandicoot. Yeah, kinda. It doesn't play anything like Crash Bandicoot though, I would say. <laughs> Ukulele was meant for me. I started it and I just never finished it. Can I peck in the air? Yeah, I can. See, I don't need your help, Bottles. You dick. I'm not gonna remember where some of this stuff is. That's alright, we'll manage. The boss fights were always really fun, too. I remember, too, when they introduced Diddy Kong. Uh, Diddy Kong Racing is when they introduced Banjo. Uh, and Conker. I remember Banjo was kind of slow. Kazooie wasn't in that, though. They, they didn't invent Kazooie yet. Wasn't there a... There was a Game Boy Advance Banjo game, wasn't there? I think there was a Game Boy Advance one, too. If there was, that one I didn't play. This is a, this is basically a kid-friendly Conker's Bad Fur Day. <laughs> it's a Conker's Bad Fur Day. This is just Banjo's kind of inconvenient afternoon. So you ready to tackle the witch now? We sure are. Show us the way, Bottle Boy. Cross the bridge to enter Gruntilda's lair. Look out for me inside. Good luck. Uh, was there anything else over here? I don't think I... Did I go over here yet? Oh, yeah, I did. Oh, wait, look. There's rocks over here. Remember when I was a kid, I was playing Banjo-Kazooie in my N64. I was confused when I found an egg in one of the pirate levels. There was an egg. I don't remember the egg. I'll remember it as I play. As I go. Grunty's Revenge. What? Yeah, I think that was a handheld one. I never played it. Here we go. What do you want me to do here? Maybe I will need Bottles help. Talk to me, Bottles. <laughs> Look at him. I'm still not helping you, so go away. Oh, come on. This isn't funny now. Stop calling me. This is your last warning. Don't do it. Again. I'm going to do it again now. You've asked for this. I'm erasing your save game. Wait. <laughs> I don't remember this. No. We're sorry, Bottles. We won't do it again. Okay. 
let's get on with rescuing 2D. Then, shall we? I'm gonna talk to him again. Stop <laughs> wasting time, Banjo. 2D needs rescue. What a dick. He <laughs> bring bottles. I don't remember what I have to do. Anyone remember what I have to do with these rocks? I thought it was one of the tutorials. Man, maybe I should have asked him for help. Oops. I thought I had to pick him up or something. What a dick. It's like a big egg with a question mark, almost like an Easter egg? No, I don't remember that. Oh, look! I see an extra life on top of my house. I'm gonna go get it. I need all the extra lives. God, Valiant Hearts, The Great War. That game's really good. I started it on PS4, I think. I know there's a PS5 version, I believe. But that, that game is actually, it's a World War One game. But like, story-based, not a shooter. Yeah, it's really good. Banjo fights like Steven Seagal. Yeah, spe oh my god. <laughs> Speaking of Steven Seagal, it's funny you brought him up. I discovered this channel. Oh, fuck, I remember. I forgot what the name was. Something Ice. I discovered a channel yesterday, and I've been watching it like nonstop, that all he does is review Steven Seagal. Well, he does a lot of other stuff too. But one of the big things he does is review Steven Seagal movies. And it's absolutely hilarious. I did not realize how many shitty direct-to-video movies Steven Seagal does still. And they're all horrendous. And it's funny, too, because I was going through this guy's playlist. <laughs> oh, Ozzy, yeah, it's the channel I showed you. I almost finished watching all that channel Seagal reviews. It, it is funny because as I'm watching, I'm going through the playlist, like, in, in different order. I'm skipping around, which I shouldn't have done. Um... I'm skipping around on the reviews and I'm having a hard time remembering which ones I've seen and which ones I haven't because all the movies are basically the same movie. <laughs> it's all the same shit. Seems like all used to be a good action star back in the day, but man, like... He's an... I think he's an example of one of those that it's time to hang up the cape. <laughs> you know? It's time to just kind of retire because some of it's real bad and you can tell, like... He's just there to collect a quick paycheck, and then they switch to a body double doing the most basic things. Let me go, you fat hag. My brother will come and kick your butt. Rescue you, he will not dare. There's many dangers in my lair. Hurry, Klungo. Push that switch. I'm tired of being an ugly bitch. <laughs> yes, Mr. Grunty. Power is on. Soon be ready. Banjo. Hell. Seagal hasn't made a movie in a few years. I doubt he will. He's in exile in Russia? Wait, what? That's new to me. <laughs> oh, here's a puzzle piece. Hey, it's me, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Jiggy. Now go and find a picture with a piece missing. All right, Mr. Jiggy. Take out the same martial arts Seagal Masters. My instructor kind of has a Seagal look to him. That's hilarious. Yeah, no, it, it's... You know, I don't discredit his skills back in the day, but... He's not a believable, like, secret CIA action hero. You know? Not anymore. Or even as... Not, not just a couple years ago. This is the first world. Mumbo's Mountain. To open the door, you'll need to find the jigsaw picture with an image of this area on... Oh, how do I save in this game? Is this autosave? I don't remember if it was one of those. One of those. Oh, this, this is very Mario 64 here, too, with the, with the paintings. I think DMX and Isaac Hayes' last movies were Seagal movies. Me and my fiancé just saw... Uh, we saw this one, I don't remember what it was called. The last movie Bruce Willis did. It was like his like goodbye movie, I guess. Oh, oh, it's so bad. It's so, so bad. Elite, thank you for uh, gifting a member. I thought you were taking a break on that. <laughs> I, I appreciate that though, thank you. Who will attain this? Oh, Axel Shadow. 
you got your membership there. You found... Oh, here it goes. To enter the world shown on the picture, you must fill in the missing spaces with the jigsaw piece. We've got the first jigsaw piece. Goggle boy. Great. To fill in the missing spaces on a picture, press A. Of course I want to do it. Some Van Damme movies are the same, but they have charm. I haven't seen a Van Damme movie in years. Well, besides Bloodsport. I watch Bloodsport a lot now. But, uh, like newer ones, I mean. I don't know what the last one he was. See, it's like Mars 64, but you don't go into the painting. That ugly bear, you feathered freak, is nothing but a stupid geek. I'm offended. Stage 1, Mumbo's Mountain. Do you prefer Banjo-Kazooie or Banjo-Tooie? I never finished Banjo-Tooie. I rented it a couple times, but I never actually finished it. This one I played a lot. <laughs> a lot. I already saw Jinjo. Yeah, playing this just makes me want to go back and play all old 3D platformers from back in the day. It was such a it was such a big genre back then. It you know they tried to do a comeback for a while and it's just I don't know it never took off again. Uh, you guys remember Cameo? Cameo Elements of Power on 360. I think that's also an early play. You saved me. Gruntilda has imprisoned five of us Jinjos. On each world, to get like the true ending slash final battle, you, you want to get all the Jinjos. I don't, if I remember correctly, I don't think you need to beat, do it to beat the game though. And I got Mumbo's token. Best Van Damme movies are Street Fighter and Bloodsport. I love the Street Fighter. Street Fighter is so good. It's so shitty that it's good. There, there, there's a balance to it. Like, some movies can just be shitty. Like, Welcome to Raccoon City. That movie was hit the, the perfect mark of so shitty it's good. It's not an easy thing to pull off. Mortal Kombat Annihilation does it, too. Horrible movie. <laughs> but entertaining. Banjo's head's mounted on the wall in the menu and conquering Kazooie. Yeah, that's horrible, man. That means Conquer murdered him. Horribly sad. Is this is this idiot still mad at me? Okay, good. He's gonna help. I call this the Beak Buster. Jump into the air and press right or left trigger to send Kazooie slamming hard down to the floor. Go! I don't like the sound of that, Banjo. I used to hate the snow level. There's a snow level. There you go, we got the Mario, uh, the Mario body slam. The butt slam. Can't wait till Hogwarts Legacy, it looks great. I don't care what people say, yeah. Yeah, apparently now on Twitter someone, uh, posted, like, some, I don't know, some tool, I guess, to highlight all the people that, uh, or to identify all the people that stream it. It's like, dude, is that necessary? <laughs> I'm just saying that that's a real that's a real good way to um, really dilute whatever message you think you're fighting for. It, it's a way to not it's a way to, to rally people against whatever you're trying to for. It's a video game about wizards. If you don't like it, don't play it. If other people want to play it, doesn't make them bad people. I want to play it. <laughs> Does that make me a bad person? You know, it's stupid. People need to chill the hell out. It's a video game. For little kids about wizards and magic, alright? Ooh, another one. Bottles is the Brock of this game, yeah. With less of a foul mouth. We'll help you progress through the witch's lair. To me, it's called bullying. That's what the person's doing. Yeah, it, it's true, because... It's funny because, like, uh, the people that do that are, are quick to point out other people that are doing it. But it's just like, that's, <laughs> even though you're not strictly calling for it, you know that's going to result in targeted harassment. You know that's going to be the result. And whoever posed that knows that was going to be the result. It's just, don't play the damn game. There wasn't many bosses in this, just Gruntilda? I, want, I thought there was. 
I want to say there was, but now that you mention it, now that you mention it, I can't think of one boss. So you might be right, actually. There's Mumbo. Oh, I need a five. See, he lets you turn into different animals and stuff, I think. Me, Mumbo, best shaman in all game. Can help Banjo and filthy feathered one. Watch it, hut boy. Mumbo's magic tokens hit by witch. Fine tokens, and Mumbo help you. Banjo not got enough tokens for Mumbo magic. Look at sign, bring more. Alright. We need more Mumbo tokens. I don't even remember what all the what the musical notes do. Like what's the point of getting all hundred? That I don't remember. Or is it just completion? Alright, let's get out of here. God, I feel so good playing this. I love N64. That, that was such a staple in my childhood. Like, N64 was that era where I was going from my like, childhood to my teenage years. And it was just, I loved it. Oh, see, I gotta shoot eggs, but I don't. he hasn't taught me how to do that yet. Let's open doors in the hub. Oh, for the doors. That's right, because the puzzle pieces are specifically for the things. Termites. Fatality. Damn it. What other games are out there like this now? Like new ones. I'm trying to think of others besides ukulele. Like, they're really... I'm, I'm even trying to think of, like, indie examples. Speaking of indie games, I want to play that new, uh... The fan, uh, mate. Uh, God, what's it called? Castlevania Chronicles 2? Uh... Simon's Quest. Oh my god. I think I'm going to review that. It looks really good. Yeah, someone basically made a, a, a really good version of um, Simon's Quest. Uh, there we go. Oh! I almost slipped. I remember like the swamp area too. There's a swamp area to go to. And you turned an alligator and he's got a little backpack on. Ah! Oh! Damn it. Turn around. I missed a couple. Game Grumps did a video back when John Tron was in it. They had Grant Kirkhope as a guest. Talks about his work. Yeah, and yeah, it's funny too because these rare games, the, the music itself had such personality. Like, it had a certain feel to it that, like, when you hear it, you're like, it's a rare game. God, what happened to rare? Like, I'm waiting, I mean, we know what happened. Microsoft bought them, but, like, man, why is it that when Microsoft bought them, they just, like, they went straight downhill? It doesn't make sense, because, like, with the power of Microsoft behind you, like, you've got so many resources, and, like, what happened? Mind you, I never played uh, Banjo 3, Nuts and Bolts. I have it, too. I actually have. Do I still have my disc? I think I... St yeah, I still have the 360 disc. I actually bought that, that like, great of Platinum Hits or whatever when it came out. When it was valued cheaply. But it's on Rare Replay, too, I believe. But yeah, I heard that one's completely different. I've never even touched it. Expect that to be streamed at some point. This is a really chill, relaxing game, too. Like, you just sit there, like, late at night and play this. And just feel good. You'll just be like, I love video games. First date with Nintendo who knows what gems we would have gotten. Yeah, I mean, it really makes you wonder. Because if they had stayed, if they had stayed, like... If they had been, like, exclusive to Nintendo... I don't know, I think that would have been a good working relationship. Something happened when they, when they went to Xbox. Uh, oh, that's what I do. This, this kind of reminds me of the, uh, <laughs> the cow in Conqueror's Bad Fur Day that you have to make it shit itself. But again, this is, this is very tame. The, the children's version. Actually, it's kind of funny. This is rated T. I'm not sure why. This is very much a, a, a children's game, easily. What do I have to do here? Item. I think I had to break something with him. 
Maybe. Ozzy, look, it's that bull from Sekiro. <laughs> Your friend. Can I not ride him? Oh no! I hate that shit in games. That whenever you touch something, it hurts you. He wasn't even attacking. I literally just I grazed him by an edge. Funny you're streaming this. I'm doing conquer. Yeah, total coincidence too. I've actually been wanting to stream this game for a really long time, and I was looking at my stream schedule and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do it. <laughs> next Monday we'll be doing uh the next uh, member choice, which is Resident Evil Zero. That's gonna be rough. <laughs> I every time I play that game, I struggle with it. It doesn't matter how many times I play it, but whatever. We'll beat it. Well, fun. <laughs> One day I'll beat that bull in Sekiro. One day you shall have your revenge. Oh, uh, we got DK up here. God, this Congress tree. Me hit bear with oranges. Don't hit me, man. How many oranges we got? Here. Woo! Grr! Clever bear find Conga's gold. Duh! Ready for sexy game and sexy music? I don't know what's T about this game. It's very much E rated. It should be E rated. Well, yeah, tell me it doesn't look like Diddy. Chimpy hungry! Wants orange now. Feed Chimpy. Oh, can I get up there? No. I'll come back. Speaking of emo video game characters, one of Leon's DLC costumes is super emo. I saw one, it was like a retro look. It's like a windbreaker jacket almost. Playing playing Banjo 2, it feels better and you have a vast amount more things you can do. I don't remember much about it. I rented it, see, that, that's the problem. Like, I rented it and then I'd go right back to this one. What do we got in here? I can break the first note door. Right, let's go up here. I want to find everything in this game. I hope I can remember where it all is. Hey, ugly, no bears allowed in Ticker's Tower. I'll destroy all of you. Look this is Banjo committing mass genocide right now. Oh, fuck. See, I need that skill where, uh... You can uh, walk, you crouch, and then Kazooie starts walking. That's how you get over the slopes. All right, let's go back over here. I also like that beach. There's a beach you go to. They get out of pirate ship too. Oh, here's where I learn it. This is what I was talking about right here. The Talon Trot will let Kazooie tackle steep slopes with ease. That sounds useful. How does she do it? Hold the right trigger, then press the left trigger. Continue to hold the right or left trigger while moving Kazooie around with the left stick. Yeah, here we go. I used to love doing this. You can jump further, too. Got the camera zoomed in all the way. Alright, let's get that uh those musical notes up there. Some eggs. Some delicious eggs. The eggs are basically ammo, if I remember correctly. Which we can't use yet. Damn it, wrong button. Yeah, here we go. It's another Jinjo. Oh, we just need the yellow one. Yeah, we'll get them all. There he is. See, this is what I was talking about earlier. Now I don't have to worry about like floating on these platforms. I can just, I can just run over. See, it might seem easy to get 100% on on these levels because of this first one, but the other levels, like they get way bigger than this. This one's very small. Super! <laughs> Only through bottles can you achieve a power greater than any bear. Abilities that some... Oh, 
shit. Considered to be unnatural. But yeah, we only need nine more notes. Nine more. Okay. Got the stupid orange. That Kong is orange. Put it back. Yum! Oranges are nice. Oh, Chippy Light Kong is orange. Chippy, help. Fat berry bird. <laughs> Where can I learn this power? Only through me. Can you achieve a power greater than any grizzly? See, oh, I think this is where I learned how to shoot. Yeah, this is it. Cocaine Bear is the sequel to Banjo T. Wait, when did, did that movie come out? I completely forgot about Cocaine Bear. Is this bird supposed to be the Roadrunner's cousin or something? He's Kazooie. I don't, I'm not even sure what kind of bird it is. He's an orange bird. Hey, sounds cool. Anything else? Sure, press B instead, and you can shoot them out from behind. Sheesh, sounds painful. I wish I'd never asked. Bird Brain can carry 100 eggs in her backpack. Oh, and you can also use the left stick to aim while you're crouching. Egg sighting, huh? Excellent. Now you've learned to use the eggs, here's 50 to practice with. Oh. It's coming later this month. I gotta watch it. It's such a stupid idea for a movie. I, I mean, think about it. If it's successful, you can spin it off and all kinds of stuff. See, look. She literally farts an egg out. Like, did they have to put the fart sound? So immature. That's hilarious. What does this do? Ooh. Cocaine Bear releases a week after Ant Man 3. You know what I want to actually go see? Um, I forgot what it's called. That cabin movie. I think I might go see it this weekend. The one with uh, Batista's in it. It's an M. Night Shyamalan movie. I forgot what that was called. Something of the cabin. Die! I will defeat you! It's battle to the death. Erg! Bear beat Conga. Me give prize to bear. A knock on the cat. I don't know. I keep wanting to see Cabin in the Woods, and it's not a Cabin in the Woods. Because <laughs> that's already a movie. That's a fantastic movie. Talk to up, man. I don't remember how many puzzle... Were there, were there 10 per level? I don't remember how many puzzle pieces. Oh, wait. I think this tells you. Yeah, look, look. Right here. Zero out of two honeycombs. Eight out of ten. Damn it. I want to find it all. All right. I, I wish I had, like, a first-person camera. You just try eu Euphoria on any... What? Euphoria? What is that? I've never heard of that one. Yeah, no, i never heard of it. Is that an RPG? It sounds like an RPG. I mean, just going by the title, I mean. I've been playing, um... I've been playing some games today that I'm out working on a review for. It's going to be in the next video. I've been uh, playing Demolition Man. <laughs> I'm doing a big video on Demolition Man review. Or on Demolition Man games. All of them. There's four. There's Super Nintendo, Genesis, Sega CD, and then the 3DO one, which is the one that's very different. So that that's going to be fun. I, I, I told you guys this year I want to get back into reviewing games, so... That, that's that's gonna continue forth. Um, shoot exit this bull. It's like Metroidvania style. So is is it a new game, like a new fan made thing, or like an actual game from back then? Again, I, I don't I don't recall that. 
I swear, I remember doing something with that bull. Did I see everything? I can see I've been here. I think there's areas I can't get to yet. Because I remember being able to go to the top of the mound. Maybe I can't do that yet. It's a 1990... Oh, it's a Sunsoft game. So you know it's going to have a really good soundtrack, dude. Oh, over here, the totem poles. I forgot about those. I saw my Conquer stream, but what do you think... Would you think this game and Conquer could use a map? Yeah, it could. Which I, th I think, had these were made now, even though in this one, I don't know, maybe less necessary, but it would still be a, a bit helpful in some of the later levels. Uh, Conquer could have used one, because Conquer kind of had like a little overworld, too, where you didn't always know where to go next. But I don't know, these cartridges had so little memory at the time. Elite with five more memberships. Whoa. We, we're going to be getting close to that 125 at some point, probably. Depending on when more, more memberships fall off. If we get to 125, um, you know what? Hold on. I need to add these manually. Here. What have we done? Elite six so far? Yeah. All right. One, two, three, four. You guys are going to hear that bison uh, laughing and dreaming. This yeah, but once we get to that 125, that will uh, unlock, <laughs> for lack of a better word, the Red Dead Redemption stream. The first game. I haven't played it. I mean, I started it a very long time ago, but it fell in the backlog. Come on. Don't! Give me. Will he make it a laughing bison army? Well, he wants, he wants to live in Bisonopolis like we all do. Oh, I remember this. I got it. I forgot. I got to get the magic power and I get the termite. Oh. This is delicious. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I said, man, I appreciate that. Ah, oh, Banjo has plenty of tokens. Stand on the skull and press X to see mighty mumbo magic. Here we go. It'd be good as an on and off feature for first timers. Yeah, I wonder if the memory though, because this was already a huge game. Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but did the second one not require the expansion pack? I thought it did. But I may just be thinking about Donkey Kong. I thought the second one did. God, that expansion pack though, like I remember back in the day, like made a huge difference on games like Turok Two Seeds of Evil. Like it looked a lot sharper. But in some games like Donkey Kong, it didn't really do anything. They literally used it as a workaround for a bug. <laughs> That's it. Ah, here we go. Hey, where'd you get those shorts? I want them. I want those shorts. Yes, we got all the musical notes here. You found all 100 notes on this world. Well done. Now oh, we're still missing something. I keep going. We need the last puzzle piece. <laughs> Give me that cool backpack or else. The backpack doesn't even fit him. <laughs> Bison is my president. Like I said, Bison did nothing wrong in the movie. He just wanted a food court. Let's see, I think that's all of them. Let's see. The honeycombs. I haven't seen any. I think I've looked at everything. Oh, I see one right there. Where is number two? I still have to do this. <laughs> do you accept bison dollars? I do. I do accept bison dollars. They're the greatest of dollars. Can I even get that yet? Turn me back. Smash the huts near Mumbo's hut. Didn't I already do that? Did I not do that already? I thought I did. Now let me do it again. Because the other one's high up in the air. Oh, 
Let's see. Yeah, because when I when I did this, it was uh, it made the thing spin around, the the totem pole or whatever I thought. Maybe not. Oh, I guess I did it. I thought I did this. I did die once though. I, you know what? I think I, I think I remember how to get that one. I think I have to leave and come back out though. I think I ruined it. I think you have to leave that bottom, the bottom spinning totem, and then jump on it. I think that was how you do it. But I don't think your response until you walk out. One thousand Republic credits is one bison dollar. I wonder how much bison, one bison dollar is U.S. Oh, uh, I think... I need the termite magic, I think. Meanwhile, Kratos needs a quick time event to open the door. He's all about quick time events. He loves them. See if I was right. Yeah, see, it's back. Okay, you know what? I need health, though. And then I just need one more honeycomb. Honeycombs around the water at the start? At the start? Oh, I th didn't I look over there? I thought I looked over there. Here, let me get this one. Yeah, see here, you need this last one. There we go. Alright, here's the water. See, I looked down here already. Let's go down here. Well, either way, I gotta be the termite to get the, uh, the stupid... The one at the top, outside. Let me go get that. But I still need one more honeycomb. If the math is right, six bucks for one bison dollar. I actually saw, uh, <laughs> there, I forgot who sent it to me, Rogue, was it you? Someone sent it to me a long time ago. Um, this website that has, like, movie props, they were actually selling some bison dollars that were used in that, that, that briefcase, <laughs> the briefcase that DJ takes at the end of the movie. He, like, takes all the bison dollars with him, um, uh, and then he's mad because they're all worthless. Someone was actually selling, some website was actually selling the ones used in the movie. Like, man, I wish I, I should have bought some. I actually think it was only one. Ah. I need my OJ. This game brings back memories. It does. I, there, there were so many good games on the N64. There was this one RPG that I rented that I don't remember why I don't remember what the story was I just remember I liked it um hybrid heaven anyone anyone played that it was called hybrid heaven and it was an exclusive n64 game that was an RPG but I remember like the feel I think it was a Konami game if I'm not mistaken I thought it was maybe not haha <laughs> You play Hybrid Heaven? Yeah, and I remember it was really long. And another one I played was Quest 64. And I remember that one, you needed to have a memory card, I think, to save your file. And I didn't have one. I was used to game saving on the cartridge. But that one, you need a memory card. So I remember I, I asked my dad to take me to Walmart that night <laughs> to go buy a memory card. And I bought this like little fat third party one that eventually died on me. Never buy, well, I guess too late now, but back in the day, if I could have given myself advice, do not buy third-party memory cards. They always suck. Always. I love the South Park game on 64. Yeah, no, nah, the first-person shooter with the turkeys. <laughs> that one was fun. All right, honeycomb. 
Let me double check. I think it's just one I'm missing, right? Yeah, look, one out of two. It's here somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where it is. I must have walked right by it. Let's go back over here. see it somewhere. Did I get everything in here? Because I saw those. The eggs. It can't be that well hidden. There's not <laughs> There's not that much space here. Okay, not there. Walked a little far. In oh, the, the... See, I don't remember if I had to go back to Mumbo's uh, hut for the spells to wear off. Oh my god. Oh, that's health. Alright, well, I looked here. I swear, I swear I passed by it. I had to. Okay, I don't look over here everywhere. Did I check the, 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 the crevices? No, leave me alone. I'm not gonna give you no orange. The piss covered snowballs as weapons, yeah. I, man, that game was so funny, though. Like, uh, what, Terrence and Philip, the little dolls, I used to love, like, throwing them and you just make fart sounds. So immature, but so funny. I think it has to do with this bowl. Anyone remember? You're welcome to chime in. I really don't remember. I feel like it was underwater, but I... Ch I I've looked. The only thing I can think of is inside the termite mound. Maybe I didn't examine it completely. I think. I think it's outside the anthill tops. I see, but I just went up there. But maybe I missed it. Because I feel like that's the only place it could be. I remember I used to have the... It was like the Prima game strategy guide for this back in the day. And I used to just check off every puzzle piece. Oh, man, I still get mad thinking about it, but I had the Metroid Prime strategy guide. And I remember, I, I don't know if it was Brady Games or Prima. One of the ones I had, uh, I marked off all the missiles upgrades as I collected them in Metroid Prime. And I still had one missing by the end of the game. And I had checked everything off in the strategy guide and double-checked. Like, there was a mistake in the strategy guide and it missed one of them. And you gotta remember, back then there was no YouTube guides or game facts. <laughs> you just had well game facts maybe there was game facts but either way it's nowhere it, it's not anywhere near as easy as just looking up a youtube guide or a strategy guide with pictures right um but yeah there was one missing and that happened to me also with the transformers the game the michael bay movie I had a couple games i have the xbox 360 game of the first movie and you have to find 100 energon cubes per level for one of the they're kind of like musical notes in this game. But that's how you get one of the achievements. And I remember one of the levels, it was horribly written in the strategy guide. They just had a big picture of the map with little yellow dots. It wasn't even precise where it was. So usually I go to that dot on the map and just like wander around trying to figure out where this little square is. <coughs> but that strategy guide also had exactly one little square missing. I was so mad. Okay, see, look, I took this. See, from up here is where I saw the other one. There's a cave underwater. Yeah, I... I'll double check, but there was a, um... There wasn't any hole in it. Maybe I didn't check everything underwater. Because, look, I can't see it from up here. It's gotta be there. That's the only place it could be, then, underwater. Let me go turn back to normal. Damn it. I remember throwing the Terrence dolls on top of each other when they all exploded. Slowed the game down. That's hilarious. That was way too much for the 64 megabytes to handle. This game might take a little longer if I'm trying to 100% it. <laughs> but it is what it is. We must. Alright, we're gonna go underwater. I I had to miss something down there. 
That's the only th imagine. That's the only thing I, I can imagine. Let me kill these guys. In the mountain wall where the water is, you need to be a termite? Oh, you're saying be a termite and go underwater? Let me look down here. See, because here... No, it's not under here. Did you play the second game? I rented it once. In the mountain wall where the water is. Which wall, Cadigan? Is it the one here next to this green platform or the one across from the bridge? I don't even see, like, any... Well, either way, I have to be a termite, right? I don't even see anywhere to go in. I don't remember this part at all. <clears throat> in Banjo-Tooie, isn't Gruntilda back? I think she was the boss again, right? Next to the platform, you need to be a termite? Well, let's be a termite and go look. Danger 2, we had 13 bosses. Yeah, see, I don't remember. I, I never I never beat that one. I have it on here, actually. I, I have the Xbox 360 download for that, too. They released both of them. All right. see any is it underwater you're saying or outside the water I don't see shit <laughs> I do vaguely remember going somewhere as a termite though Let me look at the wall Outside the water could be wrong. I remember doing something as a termite. I feel like it should, it's not this hard to find. I, I feel like it's one of those things where I've passed by it several times already and just missed it. Watch, we're going to find it just chilling up here. <laughs> Randomly. It's not up here. There's no way it's here. Let's see if there's another entrance here. You know, past it, look around where the bull was. Well, here's the bull. I'm literally just looking for, like, any hole in any wall. I don't see anything. On the slope of the mountain? Oh! Oh, shit! There- Oh my god, yeah, there it is. Oh my god, that's so easy to miss. Cause look, you're looking this way and you don't even see there's a hole there. You literally just have to, like, blind climb up here. I found it completely by accident there. Alright. <laughs> well, we found everything on that level. Let's get out of here. Good lord. <laughs> that was very well hidden, but at the same time, it was a complete in plain sight. Because, look, see, you can see the opening from here. But, look, normally the camera slopes down just enough to cut that off. Bastards. How dare they? Do you have memories of this game as a kid? Absolutely. I, I played this game religiously as a kid. 
It's the second one that I don't remember as fondly because I didn't own it. This is one of those games that, that as a kid, like, I would keep going back to 100%. Mumble magic at week. Animal turn back. Magic go. Magic go then. Yeah. I'm worried about the saving. I think it saves automatically. Because it's a save file. I'm so paranoid with these games from back in the day that you're not really sure if they autosave or not. Come on. Now we go up the slope. I think the next level is what? The swamp? I think it was a swamp area. See, look, this is very DK64. Except without bananas. This is an outdoor sealed by Grunty with one of her powerful musical spells. Open it up, then, Jan. Oh, it's not that simple. To open it, you must collect the musical notes from the worlds. How many do you need? The number on the door is the strength of the spell. The combined total of all your best note scores from the worlds must be at least this to break Grunty's magic. Here we go. We have destroyed the magic seal. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look through all these slopes, like changing camera angles and crap. That door was easy. You got past. Unfortunately, you're first and last. Oh no, see the beach. That's one I was telling you guys about. I like that one. See, see this you learn how to use over there. This is Kazooie's shock jump disc. Find me, and I'll tell you how to use it. I wanna go over here first. Go explore off of here for a moment. You've activated a magic cauldron. I think these are fast travel. Find two of the same color to create a shortcut. Yeah, these are fast travel. I remember these guys. I remember one level that, that was hard 100%. I think it was the... Uh, I think it was like high in the tree. I, I remember being in nature and it was really high up in the air. And there were trees. I'll remember it when we get there. I were watching a YouTube video about this game and they were talking about how the level where you have that like mechanical shark or whatever that it, it's kind of like dark and spooky they were supposed to make it a lot gorier and a lot less kid friendly than it actually was Let's see we need 180 All right, well, let's not go too off track let's just go to the beach the sewer level is kind of a pain yeah it was that's the one with that robo shark Here's a fairy godmother. Hello there, young ones. I'm Brentilda, Gruntilda's nicer sister. I've crept down here to help you defeat the old hag. It's about time she was taught a lesson. I know all of Gretti's disgusting secrets, and I'll tell you three of them for every time you find me. Oh, I remember. You have to remember these for like a trivia or something. They will help you avoid a fiery fate. Press X if you'd like to hear them. Shit, we're gonna have to remember these. Grunty brushes her rotten teeth with salted slug flavored toothpaste. It's disgusting. She also washes her hair with baked beans. That's disgusting. Can you imagine when she, uh, like washing the hair with baked beans? And she gets her clothes from Saggy Maggie's boutique. I'm gonna forget all of that when the time comes. But. I don't know, maybe, maybe some of you guys will remember. <laughs> we'll see. Alright, Treasure Trove Cove it is. How do you feel about the Dead Space movie on Disco? It No, it's hilarious that you sent me that. Because I was actually, I was looking up some footage for the animated one the other day. And I came across that movie. I've never heard of it in my life. And I looked it up on Blu-ray and I, there's no Blu-ray. <laughs> I want to see that movie. I should review it. There is a Dead Space movie from 1991. It's pretty shocking. Damn, I wasn't paying attention. Where'd that open? Brian Cranston's in that movie? 
You know Brian Cranston was in Power Rangers? No joke, look that up. Like, he actually... I think that's where he started, actually. He was in Power Rangers. He was one of the monsters in the suit. Like, that was... I think that was one of his first roles. I don't know which one he was, though. But, yeah. He was absolutely Power Rangers. See, if this is Mario, I could just do this. Thought he was Zordon? No, 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 Cadigan. You're you're talking about you're talking about the Power Rangers reboot. You're talking about the movie. I'm talking about uh, the show, the old original show. He was in one of the robot, or he was in one of the monster suits. Let's see, look, I remember. He was Zord. He was new Zordon though. Unless he played Zordon sometime. You know, before that, I'm not aware of that though. Ahoy! Here it is, Treasure Tro Cove. Ah, oh, there it feathers. I think that's for, uh... I think that was for flying. Wee! I'm a red feather. I help Kazooie fly. Once she knows how. The flying in this game always reminded me of, um... Mario 64, when you have the hat with the wings on it. Pirate's life for me. I, I need to stream the Pirates of the Caribbean games. 360 had... What do they have? They had Dead Man's Chest? No, 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 no. They had at World's End, the game, and I have it on my modded Xbox. I've never played it. And then they had Dead Man's Chest on PSP, and it was actually really good. Ahoy there, this be Treasure Trove Cove. There'll be two new moves for ye to find. Oh, there's Ginger right here. This used to always make me so paranoid. If you stay in here too long, look, the sharks come. Bitch. Come here. No, I want to kill it. I think you can hit it. I, let me try. I think you could kill it with the eggs. Damn it. I thought you could. Brian Scranton has done some anime voice work when Street Fighter see the movie and Matt Cross Plus. I, who did he play in Street Fighter the movie? And the anime. I, did, I have that. You know Black Hole Disney Horror Games on Disney Plus to watch? Oh, the movie. Yeah, I know. I've never seen it. You know, The Black Cauldron was another Disney movie that was like, back in the day, it was rated PG. Surprisingly. Get out of here. Look at this. Fatality. Scarier than the eel in Mario 64. That thing was terrifying. It was so mysterious, too. You, when you saw it, you always just wanted to know what was in there. Like, behind it. These games always encourage exploration. This is kind of a boss fight, right? I, I guess it would be considered a boss. This is Nipper's Beach. You find nothing without Nipper's help. Help us end crustacean brain. Grr, cheeky birdie and feathers clipping. Oh yeah, just try it, shellhead. Feeble eggs, no match for nipper shell armor. I think I had to hit him with eggs. Oh, no, you know what? I think it was the bee. Yeah, that's what it was. You gotta use the beak. Die, Nipper! I thought you were playing the original 64 version, but the Xbox Live version is better. Yeah, and I'm playing the one that um, originally was on Xbox 360 Arcade, now Rare Replay. Although 
Although technically it is the original, they didn't really do anything to it. <laughs> Besides get rid of all the Nintendo logos and replace it with Microsoft Studios. And also, um, achievements and all that. But... I always thought it was funny, because, look, you go in this little shell, but then suddenly, there's, like, an entire, like, world in here. Look at that. It was not this big on the outside. Cranston was the snizzard in the original Power Rangers. I don't even know what the snizzard is. I don't remember that. Croc 2 took a page from Banjo with the dialogue. Oh, Croc. I never played Croc. That was PlayStation, right? Wasn't that an alligator with pants? Did he have pants? Or was he nude? <laughs> I, th I remember him wearing pants. But I might be just be thinking about this. The guy who voiced Ryu in the Street Fighter 2 movie voices adult Gohan. Yeah, that I knew. They sound exactly the same. Well, he... Ryu and, uh... Doesn't he voice, um... Isn't Adult Gohan also Ryu in the Street Fighter 4? Ties that bind. Help me! PS1, he had a back... Oh, it was the back... Okay, see, so he, he was nude. But he had a backpack. Uh, see, this is where I take off for flight. Which I cannot do yet. This is a flying disc. But you'll have to find my molehill before you can use it. Alright, bottles. He is, he's the current Ryu in the game. Yeah, that I like that voice actor. Any it, like any time I hear him, like it's 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 just Gohan. Alright, there is a bucket. Hello there. Me, Leaky, no good for water, can bear block hole with pebble. Leaky patched up. Now empty water for bear. I still dump on him. Disgusting. Oh, I almost missed that, that jump. I remember this area. I think you gotta type in Banjo Kazooie. Hey Furball, you're looking wise. Solve my puzzle and win a prize. What did these crabs do here all day? Let's see, look. Oh, it was time too. I wonder if speedrunners do this, like, <laughs> try to see who can do these puzzles fast. I wonder what the fastest speedrun for this game is. Someone had to have done one. Multiple people, I'm sure. Kazooie. There. There's an E. Destroy it! <laughs> I destroyed him as he spoke. He had it coming. Branson in episode 14 of Power Rangers. The character is the one Kimberly shoots at his head with her bow. What what was the character? What like you know, some like what does he resemble? Sometimes you know they look like a hyena or some random eyeball monster. What do he look like? The name didn't sound familiar. I don't remember half the names, but I'll remember them if I, I look at them. One of my favorite ones, and it's because I had the VHS cassette, and I remember it had Billy on the front cover, holding his, like, staff. It was the pig in Food Fight. And it, it, it was a pig that, for some reason, he wore a Spartan helmet. And then he, he had, his head was just, his body was just a big, giant pig head. And he had little arms that came out of his mouth. It was the most bizarre thing. Shark! There you go. Hundred percent speed run, still do the puzzle. I, I get stressed out being a speedrunner. 
I don't know how they do it. I, like, I don't know how the... I, like, I get how they do it. I don't get how they have the patience to, like... To speed run a game, like, you have to actually sit there and learn it and all those shortcuts you can take. I would just get stressed out. <laughs> because think about it. If, if you're a speedrunner, any little thing that messes up your playthrough, it's just gonna piss you off. And anything can happen when you're trying to do a uh, uh, speed run. I don't have the patience for it. Shark Food Island. Kiss my ass, sharks. Oh no! I hate you. I gotta get out of here. He had a knife and fork, didn't he? You get a Funko. Oh, they have a Funko of the pig? That's cool. The Snizzard was a... Lat la laid on monster with a lizard-like head, cobra head, and arms. I remember the cobra. I know exactly what you're talking about. I remember the cobra arms. See when you when you said the cobra arms, that that's that's what triggered it. I feel like speedrunning ruins the experience of playing the game. Yeah, I mean I guess it depends on who, because like some people play games specifically to do speedruns, and there's whole communities around it. For me, like, but for me, like, I just want to enjoy it. Like I like just chilling and enjoying games. Like. For me, video games, well, <laughs> this is kind of hypocritical of me to say, but <laughs> for me, games should should not be stressful experiences. Although I regularly stress myself out with games, but regardless, I stand by my hypocritical comment. And yes, man, thank you for the $5. Obi-Wan would find your lack of patience disturbing. He would. He would. Patience, my young Padawan. Anakin uh, had the right idea, right? Whoop. There we go. I want my jiggies. Oh damn it. You should exit the shark to get rid of him? Yeah, that's what I was trying to do, but it wasn't hitting him. Uh let me go around the edges first here. This level just reminds me of Mario 64. I just think of Mario 64. Oh, I see a Mumbo Skull. And Extra Life. Gotta get that too. Oh, see, I don't know how to fly yet. Follow the clues if you're looking for gold. I gotta go back and get that life. Speed is like ordering a fancy meal and not enjoying it. Instead, just stuffing your face fast and farting loud to show off you can eat it fast and don't like everyone else. Uh, that's one way to describe it, I guess. <laughs> I'm sure some would agree. No! Oh, almost got my ass. Hold on, before I go too far, because I want I want the extra life, and I saw the mumbo jumbo skull. Ah, oh, freaking Jinjo over there too! Damn you, Jinjos! I see you. Oh, another extra life! Damn it! Who do I go for first? All right, Jinjo. A Jinjo, then we go back for the extra life. Fox flexed that five month membership. Good, everyone. I only ever played this game in the electronics department at Walmart. Yeah, back when you could play games there. Looking forward to seeing it all. I remember, man, I remember back in the day when you could play games in the kiosk. Like, it was always, like, the nastiest controllers. Because all the kids would be touching it. And you know the employees weren't cleaning that shit on the regular. And then, like, they put the TV real high, so you'd have to just stare up. And, like, you'd, your neck would be, like, strained. I guess they did that to encourage people not to play for a long time, but still. I remember I used to go to Walmart and read the strategy guides. And I remember one, one of my uh, old Walmarts that we used to have. Uh, there was some old lady, I remember that, like, scolded me <laughs> for reading them. Like, you have to buy the book. What the fuck? Hey, get the hell out of here. Like, you didn't see that rule written anywhere. It was annoying. <laughs> oh, this is yeah. delicious! 
This is delicious. We heard bison quite a bit today. <laughs> bison thinks a lot of things are quite delicious, huh? All right, let, let's keep following this way. I already, I already went way off track. I missed the life. I missed two of them actually. Speed run. Here we go. See. Speed running. Technically. <gasps> oh, I almost fell off. Well, let me be more careful here. Hold, hold on now. Hold on. <laughs> All right. See, I went down there before because it's stupid pale. Let me go down here and talk to bottles. I should have done that first, actually, so I could use these pads. You'll reach new heights with my shock jump spring. Does Kazooie do it? My legs are tired. Don't worry, the turkey does all the work. Simply stand on a shock jump disc, and then press and hold A. Hmm, your energy's a little low. I'll fill it up for you. What a, what a good friend. Is it Bottles in Banjo-Tooie? Isn't he dead? Wasn't that a thing? Didn't he die and he's a ghost? I vaguely recall that. Yeah, I really should have done this first. I saw this part was fun. No! Damn you! <laughs> I messed up. Alright. Let's get back up there. Yeah, he died. Yeah, I remember him being a ghost. I don't remember if that was a haunted level in this one or the second game. Poor guy. <sighs> they screwed him over. I can remember when you could play games with Toys R Us and also Circuit City could play. I think Best Buy you could still play the games. Sorry. Uh, I know my local Best Buy doesn't. Yeah, no, my local Best Buy didn't come to think of it. Yeah, they don't have uh, a system anymore to play on. I think only some of the bigger Best Buys still do. When I worked at Best Buy, there used to be a bunch of kiosks where you could play way back in the day. Um, yeah, Toys R Us was one of the places I remember most fondly uh, with, with the uh, kiosks that you could play. Because that, that's where I experienced um, Ocarina of Time for the first time. It, it was the, the, de the demo with the Deku Tree. And then you fight Goma, and I remember thinking, like, these graphics are mind-blowing, and nothing can ever top it. Fast forward a couple years, and we have, like, Series X and PS5. <laughs> Can't even imagine what I would have thought back then, looking at, like, God of War Ragnarok. Oh my god. In my treasure! Ha! You'll never find me now. Um, damn it, wait. Let me... I want to go get those lives. I know the game collector, welcome. I know you played this, right? Let, let me, let, let's go with the extra life. There's one down here. And there's one over there, I believe. Yeah, there we go. I just went to the place of the elves in Ragnarok going for platinum in this game. I hate the elves so much. Like, I, I legitimately don't think they're fun enemies to fight. The dark elves, I, I can't stand the dark elves in that game. You're pinning on Bad Batch? I love the Bad Batch. I, I like that they're playing with the idea that the clone, and I've been saying this for, for forever. Like, I want the clones to be redeemed. Like, I want the, the chip to start like wearing off. It seems like that's that's kind of where we're heading. I don't know if there's going to be like a full-blown clone rebellion, but man, if that happened, that'd be the ultimate. That that would be the show for me, specifically made for me. <laughs> I'd be so down. It's great, but I didn't care for the two filler episodes that we've had so far. They're super boring. I'm not a fan of filler episodes in general. Star Wars. Clone Wars had a bunch too with Jar Jar. I 
thought there was something down here. I can't. Or was there nothing? I could have sworn there was something down there. Besides the shark. There we go. Hey, Cadigan, how far are you in Ragnarok? I know you were streaming it for a bit. Apparently, I'm at like the 80% mark of the game, so I, I guess we're semi getting close to the end game a little bit. At least way closer than we were. Get away from me, man. I'm not even trying to mess with you. What a dick. All right, let's go get that extra life that I left behind before. That was up here. Need a Banjo Castle Castlevania spinoff. How would that work? You mean like a Castlevania game like this, where it's like a 3D platformer kind of thing? Looking for the Norns with fate. Oh, so you're not, okay. So you're where I was the stream before last. Cause that's when I found the Norns, so. Yeah, you're pretty far. Such a long ass game. I like that though. Because I've never felt like like God of War was boring, you know, even though it's long. The, the only part I thought, like, the, the, the what is it, the Ironwood or whatever? The Wormwood, Ironwood? Uh, the, I thought that part was a little boring because it, it kind of overstated its welcome too much, but just a minor complaint. All right, we've cleaned up most of the edges there. I'm almost done with Crisis Core Final Fantasy 7 with the final boss. I hated that final boss. He was such an asshole. That was a horrible final boss. I just had to keep wailing on him until he died. It was horrible. Ah, look at that. Will you do, do another Prince of your God of War series? Yeah. I don't know when yet, but... When I finish Ragnarok and, you know, that kind of thing. But I do plan on it. And also adding Fallen God in there. Alright, I got that one. I haven't even, like, touched the middle area of the island. I've just been working on the outskirts here. I probably should. Let's go towards the middle areas. Get away from me. We're going on the Salty Hippo. Ahoy there, I'm Captain Blubber, of course. And I lost me treasure when me ship crashed. We'll go find it then, Blubber Guts. Arr, but I can't swim. Can ye help an old sea hippo? Sure, we'll find it for you. If he's a hippo, he should absolutely be able to swim. And he should be able to hold his breath for long periods then. A worthless hippo. I see the skull. I think this is where they teach me how to how to fly. What was the last Castlevania you streamed? Lord of Shadow. Yeah, Lord of Shadow, not that long ago. I do have Mirror of Fate on the docket. And Frozen Rose, thank you for a two months membership. Excellent. The Snizzer did get a light, lightning collection figure, by the way, if you didn't know that. Some of those Power Rangers figures are so cool. I can't be buying those. Because, like, once you start, like, they could do all the monsters, and you'll, you'll want to buy all of them. It's a dangerous game. <laughs> Jinjo! I think I can go inside the ship, too. I thought I could. Let's see. I thought I could go in here. Ah, yes, I can. What treasures be in here? Oh, come on. You know, at least these swimming controls are good and these water sections aren't bad. In Conquer's Bad for a Day, I absolutely hated the swimming area. When you had to go through all those pipes in one part. Oh my god, it was so I can't stand that part. Oh, hoy there. I'd be Blubber's treasure. It's my 
Supercharger now. I got a bargain with Lord Zed Helmet for 70 euro. That's cool. What, is it the, uh... I've seen it at GameStop. It's like the big collectible one, right? Hey, that'd be half of me gold. Well, the other half sounds like a personal problem. What is to stop me from just stealing this gold and selling it? Damn, it's all in my eye. Would you buy the Cobra Kai TMNT crossover figures? Yeah, probably not. I'm very selective about collectibles, but all I buy because it it's limited room. They're cool, but it's like Cobra Kai and like Ninja Turtles. <laughs> I don't know, it doesn't make sense. I love both, it just doesn't make any sense. But then again, I do like the Universal Monsters and Ninja Turtle ones. Those are awesome. That I probably get. The pipe to the sink level with the spinning blade hated timing that bad for a day. Yeah, the, the entire swimming parts were just awful. I didn't like them. Me treasure, thank me hearties. Take your lord. I'm off to spend. Spend, spend. All right, now let's fly. Gotta go up here and fly now. Oh, wait a minute. I almost left the skull. The mumbo skull. There, we got 10. Very cool. Um... Okay, good. Easy controls. Oh, no! I almost fell. There we go. Cool. Circle the moon. Yeah, circle the moon. I did stream that recently. Yeah, next one I'm planning is uh, Mirror of Fate. I've been getting, I've been actually getting a pretty good amount of requests for that one lately. Mirror of Fate for some, probably because I did Lord of Shadow not that long ago. <laughs> What's the worst Batman game? In my opinion, I streamed it last year. I think it was last year, right? Batman Dark Freaking Tomorrow. It was awful. It was so bad. Oh my god. The the controls, everything about that game is just dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. Are you playing Banjo too? Yeah, eventually. One thing about these streams, for anyone newer to the channel, if you see me play a game that's part of a series, basically when there's more than one in the, in the story, yeah, I'll, I'll play the whole thing eventually. Maybe not right away, but I will. I always hated getting this Jinjo. I always was like paranoid that it was going to fall off. Alright, we've got all the Jinjos here. We love black. I was going to say black tomorrow. Dark tomorrow because they had black mask. That was not black mask, all right. That was imitation gangster black mask that had horrible fighting skills. Oh god, every character in that game was horrible. Every single one of them. Let's keep on this way. I almost have all the notes. Will Banjo collect them all? Shit. There we go. Damn it. I wonder... You know how, like, every bad game always has some defender? I've never heard of anyone being a Batman Dark Tomorrow defender. There's, There's got to be somebody out there. Anybody out there? Identify yourself. I want to know. <laughs> there has to be somebody out there that's a Dark Tomorrow defender. Killer Croc was an average green dude, yeah. Although, to be fair, he kind of was like that in the animated series, too. He was just a guy that was green. I've always been a fan of, like, the gigantic lizard monster. Killer Croc. Alright, all the musical notes attained here.
Will you stream the Batman Animated Series game? I actually have. I've streamed the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis one. Um, there is a Game Boy one I would like to play someday. And also on the GameCube, they have Batman Vengeance, which is fantastic. A very, very good game. One more puzzle piece and one more honeycomb. And then we've hundred percent of this area too. Let me get let me get down from here. This is dangerous. I don't very much like it up here. I'll play dark tomorrow and get back to you. Do it. It's awful. The only reason I say it's not one of the worst games ever, I guess it's one of them, but the only reason I don't I don't talk too badly about Dark Tomorrow, although trust me, it is bad, is because Aquaman Battle for Atlantis exists. <laughs> That's the only reason. Awful game. I haven't played Ven Vengeance on PS2 on my channel as a regular Let's Play. It's a very good game. I really like that one a lot. It was freaking awesome. I remember that. I had the PC version, too, back in the day. All right, Rise of Sin was another one that wasn't bad. But that one was cool because it, it had an original character as a villain. Like, that was created specifically for that game. I like that. There it is. Asshole. What a dick. <laughs> we stream the strike series death strike and urban jungle probably i used to like those super nintendo at least the ones i played were on super nintendo what am i missing every single time look a one honeycomb it's always the one the worst Lego game? I don't know. I think all Lego games are pretty decent. You know which one was kind of a letdown, though? Lego Marvel Avengers, because, like, I had just played Lego Marvel Super Heroes, which is amazing, and had a ton of characters, and then Lego Marvel Avengers, which is very movie-based, and it was just, it was so limiting. It was just like, okay, it's like Lego Marvel Super Heroes, but with much less characters, or less interesting characters. I was like, eh, not as good. The Lego games in general are fun, though. Me and my daughter just started the Skywalker Saga. It's like, it's hard, because she, she's six, so... It's hard me playing with, with her, like, as a six-year-old, because she wants to blow through it as quickly as possible and just beat the game and go through all the levels. And meanwhile, I'm, like, going to the sides, talking to everyone, trying to do all the side quests, and she's, like, gunning it to where the arrows are telling you to go. I'm like, slow down, like, we got side stuff to do. I gotta fly up here. I'm missing a honeycomb. And I think it's somewhere on the outskirts, like on, on the ocean somewhere. I only have Lego Jurassic World. The Lego games, one thing about them, I never buy them at full price because they get cheap so quickly. Like, no joke, Lego The Hobbit is one of them, for example. Lego The Hobbit, when that game was 60, I was like, no, I, I want it eventually, but I'm not buying it now. And then, like, I don't know, like a year later, I got it on an Xbox Live sale for, like, $4.99. <laughs> I mean, for five bucks? Yes, please. They go down in price so quickly. So, remember you telling us about the Lego poop guy? Yeah, that was hilarious. That's another game we never finished. Me and my daughter started a file on Lego DC superheroes, and she kept wanting me, wanting to, she wanted me to pick the poop guy. And I was just like, poop guy? Like, who the fuck is the poop guy? Who is that? And then it hit me, like, and she's like, that guy. And it hit me. I was like, it's Clayface. She called him the poop guy. She literally just thought he was a mound of crap. <laughs> I mean, he might as well be. Right? But, yeah, it was Clayface. I thought it was hilarious. See, the last honeycomb, I remember it being, like, out in the middle of nowhere. But maybe it's not. We must find it on this journey. I'm not seeing it. At least I got plenty of feathers. There 
was a life over there. Right? Let me go over here. See, I think these are the boundaries. So I don't think I'd go that way. Out of bounds. The guardians have destroyed you. Played this shit out of Vengeance and Batman Begins on PS2. So we got Arkham. Yeah, Batman Begins wasn't bad either, but it was basically Splinter Cell. <laughs> without using guns. You had to be, like, super stealthy. This is a lot more useful than Mario's wing cap. I hated Mario's wing cap. Like, it was fun to fly around, but it didn't let you fly around enough. It was more of, like, a glider. And eventually, like, you lost all momentum and fell. That used to make me so mad. See, I'm gonna look over here. I vaguely remember it being out here. I guess not. You know, I remember some. Let me. You know, let me. Pa let me ground pound on this shell. Where everything happens. No? I think every level I do, I'm gonna end up looking for one out of two honeycombs. Oh no! Oh, you asshole. There's health over there. <sighs> Honeycomb, where art thou? I've looked over here. Get away! Get away! Yes. Oh no! Oh, yeah. I went on that side already. Freaking honeycomb! I don't even need them to beat the game. I mean, but I'm anal about collecting all this stuff. Maybe there's an achievement for it. I didn't even look at the... What are, I wonder what achievements I do have. Because I started a file on this a while back. I have 4 out of 12. Free clan... Oh, so I did get to the clan career area at one point. There are 900 musical notes at... Oh, yeah. See, look. Real gamers collect them all. So there is stuff for the collectibles. Well, it must happen. Did you drop into the ship? Yeah, I did that already. I went in there and cleared that out. Gotta be somewhere. One out of two. One out of two. Wasn't there... What am I thinking about? Damn it. See, I don't want it to be the kind of thing where it's just like on a little slope off camera. See if we see it anywhere up here. Oh my god, so high up. It's terrifying. Nope, that's in, that's health. I can literally see the whole world. That's the Jinjo tree. That's where there was a Jinjo. I don't see anything there. Okay, so I don't think it's here. I think I looked in every chest, too. <clears throat> Maybe one of those bot. I don't know. Anyone remember where it is? The second one? You're going to chime in if you do on this one, because I don't see the damn thing, and I feel like I've looked everywhere. Go away. I looked in every chest. Checking the water. I know it's... Ha I remember one being out in the water. Didn't I get it already? I thought I got the... No, it was, or was that an extra life? Let me get rid of him. That's what I said before. I, th I, I vaguely remember one being like out in the middle of nowhere. I don't remember if it was in the water. Uh, 
there. He's dead. I thought it was... I, th I remember it being behind something. That's what I was talking about, the cliffs. I was going to mention how you would have beaten RE3 Remake by now, but I'm not good at it. As you just did. <laughs> you, you can't say it and then say, but I'm not going to. Because you, you're, you're undoing exactly what you just said. Um, it's not over here. <laughs> That's big of you. Um, did I look? Maybe I didn't look all the way over here yet. Damn it. I thought I remember it being out in a crate or something in the water, but I don't see that. That shark fight was better than NES Jaws. Yeah, was it? Weren't seashells your currency in that game? That was such a weird little game. It's like, how else would you made a Jaws game back on the NES of all things? I don't know. That's back in the day when everything would get a video game. I'm trying to get out of here. See, I remember it being around here. Is there nothing down there? I thought I saw something on top of the lighthouse next to the light. Uh, if it's a switch, I got that already. I'll go check. It's not there. That's where I was thinking over here. Oh, man. <laughs> Get away from me, man. He's so annoying. There it is. See? I told you it was behind something. I remember being in a qu uh, behind something, like a rock. It's right there. All right, let me, let me get the shark to go away. See, that's where I was looking earlier, but I didn't go far enough. I was looking on that area. I just needed to go further in. There we go. We have 100%ed this level as well. Let's double check. Yep. Very cool. How many stages were there? Anyone remember? 900 notes. That means 900, 9 stages and what? The last one? guess something like that all right I'm leaving bottles would be proud yeah and this one you don't turn to an animal oh I gotta remember to get the one over here that the cannonball uh, shot out Which shoot oh it went on the other side. I'ma get you. Where's Chris with his Beretta to take out Neptune when you need him? You can just arm wrestle it. To be quite frank. Shit in reality a shark would never pursue a bear in water as bears are known to carry firearms on these swim. What the hell? <laughs> the shark comes and the bear just pulls out a Glock. That'd be a sight to see. All right, done with Treasure Trove Cove. What's next? Let's go over here. I remember Jet Force Gemini. You had to like, uh, weren't there like little Ewoks in that too? They were like little little blue Ewok bears. Clock, clock, wood. Ah, uh, here we go, more trivia. Ugly Grunty's nickname was Cauldron Butt at which school? Okay. I also know that freshly burst boils, that's disgusting, is her favorite smell. That's absolutely filthy, thinking about that. And the old hag's favorite color is ghastly gray. All right. 
You side with Banjo, but change tack. Imagine you on Grunty's back. Click Clock Wood, I remember that one. I specifically remember that one. It is not time for that one. That's the one that was talk I was talking about that was like high in the trees. Bears are very keen on the right to bear arms. It's an of fact. That is factual. They uh, strictly have the bear necessities. You have to remember those facts. I know. And I'm probably going to forget half of them. Get the hell out of here. I do believe I have enough. I just chucked my mouse. Again. I really do need to get like one of those gaming chair trays. I know which one I want, but it's like a hundred bucks. It's expensive, man. It, it's literally, but it's just like, it's, it's like an arm that attaches to the bottom of the chair. And has like a slide tray where you could just like have all your stuff right here. Um, yeah, see, this is the swamp where you turn to a little alligator person, a little a little backpack alligator. Let's see what's over here first. Oh, there she is again. Let's see what she has to say this time. What other facts can I forget? My lazy sister often sleeps on a pile of treasure. The dirty hag. That doesn't sound so bad. The only thing she's ever won was the dirtiest undies. <laughs> she's got those shit drawers. <laughs> Gross. She often boasts of appearing on the cover of Fat Hag Monthly, posing in her long johns. All right. Epic facts. Okay. Oh, 260. Nope, can't afford that. Can't work ahead just yet. All right, let's go over here. Sleeping on treasure must be hell on your back. Yeah, that doesn't even sound comfortable. <laughs> like, you have, like, watches and, like, gold necklaces and stuff, like, jamming into your sides. I'm still here. I watch you play. But I can't think of much to say. Ha ha. This is piranha water. Keep your smelly feet out. No. I remember this. You need those boots. There's a funny character you raced in Banjo Tooie. Canary Mary. See, I never got that far. I always think of the race. I, I When you say race, I always think of the, uh, the Koopa race in Mario 64. Yeah, see, that's what I need to open. God, I love Mario 64. I gotta stream that soon. I've had that one on a couple member votes. It's almost won a couple times. My god, she's all over the place. My fat old sister's favorite sport is loogie flicking. Although she's dim, she attended Fat Hag High. So are all the students there fat hags? You won't believe that Gruntilda's party trick is eating a bucket of beans. What is it with the beans? She she eats a bucket of beans and she washes her hair with beans. At least we'll remember that. That's easy to remember. Hey, keep your feet out. You can't use us until you've spoken to Bottles. Why the hell do I need to speak to Bottles to wear boots? In all seriousness, why? Hey. 
She's just roasting her sister. I can't wait to her to start, like, truly throwing some bombs out there. Like, my sister Gruntilda, Gruntilda is a trifling-ass bitch. <laughs> Where's that fact? I'm sorry, it's a children's game. I should not be cursing. <laughs> uh, to be fair, it's a team game. 13 plus, alright? Not for children. Oh, the warm bottom part. This is one game that doesn't need a strip club ending. No fairy fat mother's green titties with puss exploding zits, tripping in best undie, please. Hey, you can't kick shame. Some people might be into the... <laughs> that's disgusting. I was going to say, like, boils exploding, but that's... I, I don't even want to finish that sentence. <laughs> Shit is gross. Lucky you. I'm an invulnerability feather. Bottles will tell you more. Will he? How does Bottles know so much? I can barely see. Big ass glasses. Maybe the T rating was for the rare replay collection. If, I don't. Whoa. No, because the Switch. If you look at the Switch Online version, it, watch the trailer for the Switch Online version of just the game. It's got T for T on it. It's, it's not for the rare replay. It's specifically for the game. I'm not sure why. There's nothing about this game that's inappropriate. I don't know. I don't think I can go over here yet. No, I can't do anything here yet. Shrek 2 game was fun. I never played any of the Shrek games. God, there's so many movie games. You know, there was a Hobbit game for the original Xbox. I, I'm curious about that game. But it wasn't based on the movie. It was based on the, the actual Hobbit story, not the movie version. I've always been curious about that game. Ah, although she's up there again. Let's see what she's got to say this time. I'm glad I'm not the only one who don't like Seth Rogen. I've never found him funny, honestly. Like, I just... He plays the same guy and everything. I don't know. I, I've never been a Seth Rogen fan. His comedy doesn't really do it for me. It doesn't land. And then his laugh is annoying. <laughs> Grunty wears massive bloomers under that repulsive dress of hers. She's also got this nasty pet dog whose name is Ripper. That's cool, though. My sister sings in her own band, Grunty and the Broomstick Boys. They're awful. Man, she really hates her sister. There's some jealousy going on there between the two, the two sisters. Five away from completing the Pokemon. Damn, Gabby, you must have been playing a lot. How many Pokemon are there total? Pfft, I'm nowhere near. <laughs> I stopped playing it. I gotta, I gotta play it again. the Ghostbuster Mario Brothers show crossover video I posted? No, I didn't watch that. Um, I saw the post, though. I gotta check that out. Speaking of crossover, I saw... Usually SNL, I think, is pretty stupid. Like, I that comedy is, like, super cringy. Like, it's not that funny. But they had a banger the other night. They had The Last of Us. They had Pedro Pascal from The Last of Us show, and they did, like, a post-apocalyptic Mario. And that shit was hilarious to me. It, or it was uh, The Last of Us Mario Kart. But it was funny because they had Toad. Like, <laughs> Bowser shoots a red shell. And they're like, no, you can make it. And he's like, I can't. It's a red shell. And he just puts his arms out and he explodes. Anyone see that? That was actually super funny. I saw the clip on Twitter. And I was like, damn, this is SNL. That's actually funny. For once. I had a friend trade with me. Nice. I, yeah, I was going crazy on the surprise trades. I was giving everyone, like, a bunch of shitty Lechonks. I had, like, 20 of them. I just kept throwing them in every... And I ended up getting all the starters that way. And I was like, yes, you fool. <laughs> I gave you my Lechonk. 
it was a 10 out of 10 good SNL. Yeah, it was funny as hell. I was legitimately laughing the whole time. Like, what's your name? He's like, it's a me, Mario. Favorite SNL skits when Rock played Bambi. Yeah, that was funny. I thought one of the stupidest ones was, uh, remember when Elon Musk played Wario? That one was awful. Like, he, you could, he, he was not a good actor in that one. <laughs> like, he, he did not do a good job. Um, uh, shit, now I gotta go back. Which way did I go? Was it over here? That was the other way, I think. He makes a great job in the last episode. Yeah, the last episode was really good. I, I'm really like, I really want to go and play the game before the season ends, or at least finish the game. Actually, I like the show a lot. The last episode I didn't care for was the last one was really slow. Not episode four. Uh, the one with Bill. I thought that episode was kind of boring, to be honest. Like, I, I felt like that episode could have been cut in half easily, and it would have been fine. There's 400 altogether in the game of Pokemon. God damn, what happened to the days of, like, 150? <laughs> it's too many. I wonder how SNL's still going on after all these years. SNL's been going on for decades. Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's hello. Well, like I said, usually I don't really find it funny. I just find it kind of dumb. But, uh, I already went here. But no, they nailed it with the Mario Kart last episode. That shit was hilarious. I mean, you gotta think about it. Eventually, as older people retire and get out of the industry, eventually us nerds and gamers are gonna be taking over writing all these shows and stuff, so... I, I guess it makes sense that jokes like that are starting to pop up and, and things like SNL. You know, like, screenwriters, you know, they're people our age now. You know what other SNL skit was funny, too? Around the time when, when Star Wars, uh, The Force Awakens came out? I think it was when Force Awakens came out. They had that Kylo Ren one where <laughs> it was, uh, Undercover Boss, but with Kylo Ren, that shit was hilarious. Say what you will about Disney Star Wars, but that one, that 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 was one of the the great things that came out of it. Bubble Gloop Swamp. What game did you play before Last of Us went to your backlog? Let me see if I remember. I don't because I remember Last of Us came out. There was something else that came, man. Anyone know any big games that came out around the time the Last of Us came out? The very first version, the PS3 version. Because I remember it came out, and I was playing it for like a week straight. And then something else came out, and I completely... I see, the same thing happened with Horizon. Horizon Zero Dawn came out. And then, I think God of War and Breath of the Wild came out. And Horizon Zero Dawn, I just beat it last year. <laughs> That's how long it took. See Jim Carrey Family Reunion skin. No, I haven't seen that. Poison Frog! Man, I'm trying to remember what came out around The Last of Us. I know it was a specific game that I, I jumped to. Maybe I'll download it this weekend, part one, and, and start playing that. Because I do want to play it. Now I can wear the boots. Willow, the NES game based off the movie is pretty good. Oh, yeah, you mean The Legend of Zelda? I had that game. It was very much Zelda. Oh, okay, chicken or kazooie. Let's go grab a pair. Five to guess must be Link Between Worlds. Link Between Worlds isn't that long though. No, I don't. I don't think that was it. I got Link Between Worlds day one. And I played it, but I don't. That wouldn't have kept me out long term. Oh man, that's gonna bother me now. I'll have to look up a list of games that came out around that time period. If I see like a list of games that came out, that's how I'll probably remember what it was. Damn it, I need the boots. Which time that last of us came out? Well, yeah, I'm talking that's what I mean. I'm talking about the original release, the original PS3 release. Cause I got it. On, actually, you know what? Actually, I got it a week early. I remember. There was a, a game shop near me. I don't know what they were doing. Um <laughs> but at some point, the sheriff's office did some kind of undercover sting and shut them down. 
Word on the street is that they were selling stolen merchandise as used stuff knowingly. I don't know, but that place was gone after that. But I got The Last of Us early from them because I knew a guy that worked there for a time. And he called me when they got it in and they just let me take it home a week early. <laughs> and I had it pre-ordered from them. AC4. Black Flag came out that year? I think that was a lot later in the year, though. If it was around the same time, I would have been completely absorbed in Black Flag. Alright, Black Flag DMC reboot Far Cry Blood Dragon. It wouldn't have been Blood Dragon. And I think Black Flag was... Was Black Flag later in the year? I think that was later in the year, too. I don't know. I don't know. It, it might have been one of those. It wasn't Blood Dragon. Because Blood Dragon I didn't beat on a release. It, it, it took me a little bit. Yeah, October. When did The Last of Us come out then? Wasn't it like May? Me want yummy egg too. Pre-order are completely full of shit. Pre-orders used to... Oh, damn it. Pre-orders used to be more necessary than they are now. Pre-orders, um... In today's day and age, the only reason to do pre-orders nowadays... Well, there, there's... I, I think there's two valid reasons to do pre-orders. One, if you... And this is sometimes what I do with pre-orders, or the reason why. If there's a game coming out, and you're, like, doing your bills and your budgets and all that, and, you, you know, you, you know you're going to get it anyway... Like, you budget some money aside for a game, you know, just go ahead and pre-order that way you that all set. Uh, that's one reason that people don't think about. But B, the other thing is, like, pre-order bonuses. Otherwise, there's not... Like, games aren't going to sell out anymore, does it? <laughs> games don't sell out. They're available infinitely now. Unless you're talking about limited editions or something. That's different. But, like, is God of War Ragnarok going to sell out on the PlayStation Store? No. <laughs> it's, it's not... The Last of Us for those with HBO Max going on Friday. Oh, there's not going to be an episode on Sunday? That makes sense because it's the Super Bowl. So no one's going to be watching it. Last game I pre-ordered was Doom Eternal because it came with Doom 64. Me too. That's why I pre-ordered it. Although I probably would have anyway because I was going to get the game either way. I forgot Super Bowl Sunday. I don't watch Super Bowl. I'm not a sports guy. Sometimes I, I sometimes I've had Super Bowl like little get-togethers at my house just just to have people over and hang out and stuff. But I, I don't really care about sports in general. I'm a nerd. I, I never cared about sports. <laughs> I do like boxing. But I haven't watched it in forever. And as a kid, I liked wrestling. I think every kid growing up in the early 90s liked wrestling. All right, let's go get those boots. I need my boots. See, I think limited time only. Would you play Doom 64? I did. Actually, not that long ago. When was that? A couple months back. Yeah, a couple months back I streamed Doom 64. Outstanding. Go get that. Oh, I forgot it's timed. Come on, why do you have to time me? Ah, don't fall. I'm already seeing lots of stuff. No! <laughs> Damn it. I'm not going to have time now. No! He's after our gold, but he'll never beat us all. Oh, well, I guess I'll do this. I was trying to rush and do that. I should know there wasn't going to be enough time. Alright. Let's go. You want to fight? Let's fight. Give me health pickup, please. 
Stop jumping, man. I'm gonna genocide all these frogs. Come here. Blub. You're too tough for us flibbits. Take our gold. God of War Ascension, is that what you played when The Last of Us came out? What month did they come out? That might have been it, actually. Because if it came out near the time Last of Us came out, I would have 1,000% put everything down to play God of War Ascension. And I did when God of War Ascension came out. Very, very possible. But it depends on the month. Had to be around the same time. All right, let me let me try not to rush. When you start rushing, that's when you make mistakes. Come on, come on. Let me get this real quick. Oh no! There, Jinjo, come here. Oh God! Here we go. Uh, yes, did it. God of War was February? When was Last of Us? Did we establish that already? That's very possible, though. Because a lot of times, like, I would have bought, and I still do this, I'll buy a new game, play it for a bit, and put it down, and then come back, like, a month or two later. It's very possible that it was God of War. I don't even remember how far I got in Last of Us. It wasn't that far. I I know we had left already the quarantine zone and all that, which, yeah, that's, like, kind of the beginning of the game. I remember being in some kind of parking garage where there were clickers. I remember that. But that doesn't really mean anything. Because, <laughs> yeah, that, that's, like, that's the whole game. Like, run down areas and, 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 and clickers. Oh, shit. Eat my eggs. Last of Us came out in June. It could have been God of War. Because, yeah, like I said, I would have played that when it came out. I would have put it down and then come back to it. So, Last of Us might have come out. And then I might have gotten back on the God of War train. <laughs> it's it's very... Po the, math, the math adds up. Remember, Remember Me came out the same year as Last of Us? Man, Remember Me was totally forgotten. I, ironically, <laughs> no one remembered it. I have that game still, and I had the DLC that had the Ryu and uh, Ken moves. I think I think you have the Hadouken, or the Shoryuken, I think it was. And Dead Card, thank you for the five dollars. By the way, thank you for the super thanks on the. Uh, I think it was the Metroid video, if I'm not mistaken. Refresh my memory. Have you streamed Conker's Bad Friday? Yes, I think last year. Or the year before that. It was the N64 version from Rare Replay. What are you uh, buying? Eventually, uh, I will play the Xbox one. I know it's not as good, but if I'm going to stream the game again, I'll do a different version of it. So I, I definitely would play it again. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, that's a bit better. I like how he's saying that's a bit better and like he's screaming in horrible pain. Here we go. Well, let's see if I get stuck finding the last honeycomb in this mission. Hmm, tank tubs warm at last. Perhaps you'd like this. Yes, I would. Thank you. Side. Xbox looks good, but heavily censored. I remember being amazed by the Xbox version because of his fur. Back in the day, looking at Conquer with that fur, you're just like, whoa, that's the most real fur I've ever seen. Now it's not so impressive. It's backwards compatible too, right? I think, do I have it? I think I have it downloaded actually. I'll have to double, I'm pretty sure I have it here. I remember this. Quiet, please. 
the famous Tip Tup Choir. Where is this turtle's digestive system? Bit short, isn't it, Shell Boy? We'll see. Copy what you just heard for lesson one. Oh god. I should remember the colors. I was looking at it based on the angle. And now the camera angle's different. I wasn't paying attention to what colors they were. No. I, I was looking at the angle. I gotta pay attention to actual colors. Oh shit! I just saw the honeycomb. I literally just saw honeycomb up there. Alright. Blue, orange, purple. Okay. Or yellow, whatever. Blue. Orange. Someone's gonna be like, that's not purple, that's indigo. Not too bad. Try lesson two. Alright. Purple. Orange. Purple. Light blue. Orange. Oh, I hit... <laughs> the last thing I actually said out loud was orange. So I went for orange. I messed myself up. Damn it. You played Pumpkin Jacket? No, I forgot about that game. I remember hearing about that game. When it came out, there was some hype. Alright, purple, orange, purple. Blue, orange. Purple. Orange. Purple. Light blue. And orange. That was a boomer move. Rare was at the top of their game during this gen. One time was classic after another. It really was. Orange. Blue. Orange. Blue. Purple. Oh, hell, man, I just, no, I just messed up. Orange, orange, blue, purple. <laughs> I, that was too much. At one point, it just, it, mentally, it all reset. And I was like, no, no, I'm gonna forget. Damn it. Orange, blue, orange, blue, orange, blue, orange, blue. Orange, blue, orange, blue. Orange, blue, orange, blue, pink, blue, purple. I think I remember this one. There. And that yellow, yellow, orange, same shit. <laughs> Different shade. Here, take this trick that I found earlier. Just pre-ordered RE4 today, actually. They didn't want to let players get physical deluxe editions this time around. Trying to push digital orders? Oh, aren't they doing... Um, is it Resident Evil or something else I'm thinking about that's doing the whole thing where... And I'm seeing more of this. Where you'll get a collector's edition, right? But then when you read the fine print, game not included. Uh, they did have a Mass Effect Legendary Edition. They came out the Legendary Collector's Edition, the Legendary Crate. I got it. And it comes with a steelbook case, but you don't cut the disc or the game. That's crazy to me. And it's not even that much cheaper. Like, it's not like, okay, reduce it by $70. Nope. <laughs> it's almost the same price. I'm noticing a lot more of that. Oh, I see Jinjo. Hello there, Jinjo. I'll rescue you. Don't you worry. Coming. They've done that a bit more last couple of years. Yeah, I've, I've been noticing it being more and more of a trend. It's like, hey, you want this collector's edition? Sure. There's no game included. It's like, oh. Well, that's not as exciting. I don't know. I think collector's editions aren't anywhere near as good as they used to be. The only collector's editions, like these last couple gens, I still think hold up really well, are the Assassin's Creed and the Mortal Kombat ones. Like Mortal Kombat 11 with the giant scorpion head, 
I still want the Sub Zero one. Like I would, I would honestly pay probably like eighty bucks. I'd probably pay like eighty bucks for just the Sub Zero helmet, just to have it next to my Scorpion. But the only way to, that you were able to get that, they released that when it was on PS5 when they did the PS5 release. Um, but it wasn't in the U.S. Like, why wouldn't you do that? You you had to get it from Europe. It was Europe exclusive. That's bullshit. I want it so bad. Didn't they do that with Thor Ragnarok? Yeah, with the hammer. I don't... Someone correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think that comes with the game. I think it's just the crate with, with the... You know, the collector stuff and the hammer. Yeah, like the actual game's not in it. Oh, I need to be the little alligator. Shit, shit, shit. Here we go. I think I destroy I could destroy these people's homes too. But first. Oh man, maybe I can't. Oh, I think there's a jump pad under there. So you don't want to do maternal helmet anymore? I do want that. The, that limit or the limited run. Oh, you're talking about the eternal one. You know, I wanted to pre-order that, and by the time I actually got around to it, it was sold out. I, I, I actually planned to get it, and I, I couldn't. It was sold out. It's like, fuck, man. And then the Doom Classic helmet from Limited Run, I wanted that, but it's like, if it was from Limited Run, I would have gotten it. But since it was Limited Run, I was like, nah. It, it, it's just, they take too long. They hold on to your money for way too damn long. I, I just, I don't like buying from them. God of War did not have the actual disc, yeah. I, I think it is I, I think it's the fact that they are trying to push digital, which I get it, but at least include a digital code. At least include a digital download code. Because you know what? At the end of the day, those collector's editions without the disc aren't that much cheaper than with when they included the game. So they're not just reducing the price of the game from them. They're still a fortune. So if you're gonna charge that much, at least include a digital code for the game. If I hadn't gotten MK11 on PS4, I would have gotten the PS5 Collector Edition. I wanted it. I'm telling you, I would have gotten it. If, if it was available in the US, I would have gotten it. Because I have Mortal Kombat 11 on PS5, but it, it's, it's, um, I didn't have to buy it because I had the PS4 disc. It's free upgrade. Or was it free or was it 10 bucks or something? I don't know. But I have to put my PS4 disc in every time I want to play the PS5 version. Which is kind of annoying, but I guess it's the same thing. Shit, where did that alligator go? I wasn't paying attention to the alligator. But yeah, one I've looked on eBay too every once in a while to see if I can find that Sub Zero helmet. Like, cause you know sometimes people will be getting rid of stuff and they'll like find like old statues of collectors and pop it up on eBay. I I've never seen one on eBay. If anyone sees one, please please remember me and send it my way. Cause I'll buy it, even if I have to pay a little extra to import it. It's one of my most like wanted collectibles. Sub Zero helmet. I need health. All right, let us go this way. No! He's destroyed. The only collector's edition I ever found interesting in Mass Effect 2. You got the collector's armor and the rifle cased on the species in the game. Um, I have that. Yeah, it's right. It's it's the thick one, right? Yeah, I have that one. Mine's autographed by the voice actor for Commander Shepard. I met him at a com at Megacon. Um, you know what? Another collector's item was cool. Gears of War. I believe it was Gears of War two. You got the uh, life size Lancer, and he used to take the fat D batteries because it was electronic, and it would actually like make noises and stuff. LGR did Isaac's six mass for Dead Space remake. Yeah, I would have loved to own that, but again, it, it's not. Like, for collector's edition, like, I, I need to be able to get it, like, right away. <laughs> like, or at least, like, a normal pre or Limited run, man. You, you, you... I had such a bad experience with the Castlevania collection. I waited over two years, I think, to get it. And at one point, and this was before I realized that they had a no-return policy. Which, yeah, I get it. My fault. I didn't read the, the sales policy, but... 
Um, I tried to get a refund for it because it had been over a year and a half, and they just kept delaying it more and more. And then people were starting to get it, and I still hadn't gotten mine. Uh, so I emailed them for a refund. They just basically told me no refunds, and I saw it on their site. And I was like, fuck, I didn't know that. So had I known that, I would have never ordered it. By the time I got it, I, I didn't even really care about it anymore, to be honest. I was like, cool, it got here. It's been so long, I don't care anymore. And after that, I was like, ah, I'm not buying anything else from him. It's obnoxious having to wait that long. I love the Arkham Collector's edition back then. Oh, you know which one, uh... I, I wanted was the Arkham Knight one with the uh, Batmobile that got cancelled. It was gonna be made by Triforce. It looked really cool, but they cancelled it. I, I guess they had production issues or something. Um, how about sneeze? <coughs> um, my buddy got the Arkham Origins Collector's Edition. And I remember I wanted it, and I ended up canceling my pre-order because I saw his. It, it was horrible. Uh, it look it's the one where the Joker, it's the Joker it, it, with the black mask suit, I think it was, and you see all the TVs and they light up. It looked really cool in all the promo photos, but the actual product, man, that quality was nowhere near as good as the stock photos. Like, it felt like cheap plastic. I saw it at his house when he got it, because I wanted it too originally, and I was just like, nah. Like, I ended up canceling my pre-order and not picking it up, and then I just got the regular one. I was crushed when the Batmobile edition got cancelled. Yeah, it looked amazing. And it was made by Triforce, which at the time... I don't remember what else they made, but I remember at the time they did make some cool collectibles. <sighs> Just I pre-order for a remake. They told me I wouldn't get a copy until the Tuesday... Tuesday after releases? What? Oh, no. That's unacceptable. No, if you're going to pre-order something, you get a day of. <laughs> or early. No, that doesn't make sense. Limited run pissed a bunch of people off for scummy firing people recently anyway. Yeah, I heard about that. That's a whole thing. I don't even care about that as much. Um, they did kind of shoot themselves on the foot over it. I don't even know what that whole situation was. I just, I, I didn't really like them for their business practices to begin with. So it's like, I mean, I'm not a customer of theirs regardless. They have some cool stuff though, admittedly. They really do. But it's just like, man, chain... Like, have a refund policy, at least. Like, if you put an order in within a certain amount of time, if it takes over a certain amount of time, then at least let people be able to cancel if they choose. Like, have some kind of have cancellation policy. They don't have any. It's all sales final. It's funny, though, because I've seen some people say that's illegal. It's like, that's not illegal. <laughs> a business is that you're allowed to have no refund policies. It's shitty business practice. It's not, it's not illegal. More boots. The moment I got my copy of Streets Rage 4 from LGR, places locally were selling physical copies. Yeah. Um, I seen that at my um, local game shop. They had that too. And it was the exact same one I got. I got the one with the big Genesis case. Which again, it was a waste of money. I didn't even care about it when I got it. I already had, I already had beaten the game. I had the vinyl soundtrack. I had the download. I didn't care about it anymore. So I was like, yeah, I'll just look at the pictures of the limited run stuff. I'm not going to buy from them no more. Oh! Damn it! The camera turned and made me fall. So bitch. Yeah, okay. It's messed up, man. I remember another collector edition that I absolutely hated was Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. I didn't get that one. The one with the Jack in the Box, I hated it because I worked at Best Buy at the time, and we had so we like ordered too many, and we had a couple cancellations, and we we couldn't get rid of the damn thing. We had so many of them, we ended up clearancing them, out, clearancing them out for like twenty five bucks. <laughs> I probably should have gotten one for that price, but I, I was so annoyed by it that I was like, screw this thing. Ah, Jinjo, I see you. 
I gotta go over there. Oh, I thought I was gonna make it. I have the 360 Jack in the Box. I hated that thing, man. We had so many of those damn things taking up shelf space and we couldn't move them. Like, all the people that wanted it got it on release and the rest just sat there on the shelf until they went on clearance. Uh, you know what? It's, it's funny because I remember one of the worst collector editions I, I've, that they've ever done is... Um, did anyone else have Assassin's Creed Collector Edition the first game? It had an Assassin's Creed Collector's Edition, and it the worst collector edition ever. Um, it came with a comic book, big whoop, and it was a big fat steel case like this. It, it it was a thick one for no damn reason. It was just big for no reason, and it came with an Altair minifigure. They called it a collectible figurine. It was like this. I shit you not. It was that small. It was a little tiny. Look it up on Google if you don't believe me. Look up Assassin's Creed 1 Collector's Edition. It's shockingly shit. <laughs> the, with with the stuff that they come with now. Like all, like all this stuff. And But that one was such garbage. It was a little tiny figure. And I remember at the time I lived at home. You know, my parents' house. And we had carpet. And um, I had them on my TV. Which was like, I don't. it was like up here. Like that height from the floor. Like, I don't know, like four or five feet. And I had him on my TV and he fell and the figure just broke in half. I remember just looking at it and being like, why did that break? It was a very soft cushioned fall. <laughs> the worst collector's edition ever. It was awful. Whoa, what a rip up. Yeah, like I said, if you don't know what it is, look it up. Assassin's Creed 1 collector's edition. The worst collector's edition ever. I think it was like 20 bucks more, too, or something like that. It was terrible. Triforce Replicas did Riddler Trophy Statue. Wish I got one. I'd never want a Riddler Trophy Statue in my entire life. No. <laughs> I'll be so... All I get PTSD from having to collect them. I didn't get collectors until AC3. Did three weeks overtime paying for it. Now I don't remember where I buried it. I have that, right? Yeah, it, it hit the Connor statue. It's that one right over there. I don't know if you guys can tell, but he's he's right here on the corner. It's beautiful. Just let me see if I can do this damn thing without falling. Without the camera. I got, okay. Camera's under control. There we go. Don't fall. Okay. Now I get my tra my epic transformation. So remember that stream you wanted in dead? Yeah, I, that was the one time I wished Batman would have crossed over with the Punisher. I wanted Riddler down. The nightmare sequence was satisfying. When you blow him away with a shotgun. <laughs> that was cool. I was like, yes. This is delicious. No. Get away. Dick. I need those musical notes. I gotta go turn into a uh, alligator. The God of War 3 collectors. I had that. Oh, ah, I traded that in a long time ago uh, at a retro shop. I wish I would have kept it. Yeah, it was the Pandora's box. And I used to, I remember I kept, uh, it had an art book, I think, inside, right? I used to keep my game collectors, like, art books in there. Man, why did I get rid of that? I shouldn't have done that. I used to get rid of so much stuff that I didn't want anymore, and like now, years later, I'm like, man, I wish I would have kept it. That was genuinely a cool collectible, also. Oh, we got we got both honeycombs for once. Yeah, look, like two out of two. Hell yeah. I'll be sure to send you a Riddler trophy. I'm gonna get it in the mail. I'm gonna turn it to an exclamation mark. I'm just gonna cut, cut the corner off, and I'm like, now it's an exclamation mark. Look at that. I think Pure Art, or First Four Figures, I think they're actually making a Banjo Kazooie statue with uh, Alligator Banjo and Mumbo Jumbo. I saw it on their website. There's so many, man, it's so expensive collecting stuff. Like, I'm telling you, if I was made out of money, 
I, I'd be getting so many more statues. Like, they get pure arts. It's making so much cool shit. They're making a, a, a one six scale statuette of uh, the part in Assassin's Creed Revelations when Ezio finds Alta here in the library. Oh my god, I want it so bad. I was just salivated. They're, they're revealing it in like four days. I emailed them to see if I could get like review like review uh, statues. And they, they sent me an email back with one of those like, oh yeah, here's the email for our marketing director. They'd be happy to talk to you. I emailed them and then just, yeah, they go, nope. <laughs> I got no response back. I was like, man, I want a statue. I'll review it, please. Pure Arts, I'll check this out. Yeah, just look up Google Pure Arts. Um... I actually have an affiliate program with them where, like, if people order anything from them, like, I don't know, I think I get, like, 2% back, like, kickback, but I, I don't think anyone's ever bought it. It's one of those things that's, like, I had it just to partner with them, but it's just, like, like, who in my audience is going to buy, like, a $900 statue? <laughs> like, that's not, that's not, like, a normal thing that people buy. That's, like, hardcore collectors, which is not the norm. They're great statues, though. They really are. The good thing about them is they have payment plans, so that's what I like about it. Like, you just pay a couple bucks a month for like a year, and then you get an awesome statue in the mail. If you had to pay it all at once, I, I would have never been able to buy any of them. Ever. But they're very cool. They just uh, released Connor. I need to get that one. I'm missing a couple. It's the ones back here. I don't know if you can see them too well. Uh, but Connor, I the I'm missing Connor, Cassandra. Um. Edward, Connor, Cassandra, and Edward. I think that's it so far. But they keep making more of them. They keep announcing more, and I'm like, damn it. I want it. Cons are the best way to buy statues. I don't know. I don't agree with that for one reason. Then you have to transport them home. <laughs> that's the part that sucks. Like, when I went to E3, I saw the Altair one. The first one they released in the Assassin's Creed line. I wanted it so bad, and I was like, wait a minute. How would I get this home? <laughs> you know? What am I missing? Oh! I gotta go inside the alligator's nose. There we go. Oh, and I know Pure Arts are doing more Assassin's Creed statues because they sent out a survey to their collectors, like the people in their like collectors club, which basically means you bought stuff from them before, uh, about future products. And they're like, what assassins would you like to see next? They had like everybody listed. I was like, these sons of bitches, they're, they're going to do this to me. I picked uh, Amunet and uh, who else? Uh, the, con the, uh, the Fry Twins from Syndicate. One of the survey questions was, would you want one statue with both of them or two separate statues? I was like, man, do two separate statues. I feel like if you do one statue with two people, like, it's going to be double the price, and they specified that. And also, more things go wrong. Like, it's heavier. And, and, uh, just separate the characters. Oh, no, Xiao Yun from Assassin's Creed China. She's the one I said. I heard they take on extra cons. I, I, I think there is some truth to that because... I bought a Green Lantern movie statue picking. Don't ask me why. I love Green Lantern. I did not care for the movie. I still bought a Ryan Reynolds Green Lantern statue. I saw it at a convention. It was like 60 bucks, And I was like, oh shit, that's a good price. I bought it. And then I saw the same one on eBay for like $25. So yeah, I think there is some truth to that. Oh, look. Ikambogang. All right, I found all 100 notes. It's a little chopper mini game. Legacy Kane statue would be awesome. Yeah, man, is, something needs to happen with Legacy Kane. Something. Yeah, some cool collectibles would be nice. Some merch. Fun. I have enough to get the Ezio statue on there. Oh, it's so cool. I have that one. That one is right there. It's hard to see me, my lights. They kind of drown them out. Her, her, her! I'm Mr. Vile, greediest croc of all. Play my game to win a prize. Press A to accept. 
admit you like Ryan Reynolds' Green Lantern. That's the reason you bought the statue. Not at all. I saw that movie in theaters, and I was just like, this is horribly miscast. Because it's literally just, like, Ryan Reynolds being Ryan Reynolds. Like, he's not Hal Jordan in the movie. Mind you, I didn't think the movie was absolutely terrible. It was just bad. <laughs> there, there's layers of badness. But it, it was incredibly rushed. I think that's the main, uh... I think that's the main problem with that movie. It, it felt like the whole thing was in fast forward. Like, by the end of the movie, he'd already defeated Parallax. And I was like, what? In, in his first outing? <laughs> uh, you want a good Green Lantern Ryan Reynolds version? Play Green Lantern Rise of the Manhunters on PS3 and 360. Genuinely a decent movie game with a decent story. It's what the movie should have absolutely been. But uh, the game acts as a sequel to the movie. Oddly enough, it ignores uh, Sinestro getting the yellow ring. Which was also rushed in the movie. I don't know why they did that that early. You gotta develop that shit. I hate this. So you wanna like get in front of him and steal his stuff. Sorry, really intro opening day. It was my birthday and I had the entire theater to myself. Good lord. Eat reds, avoid yellow. Alright. Eat red. Damn. It's nope. I'm gonna eat all yours. No, this is mine. Damn it. This car this part could be really annoying. I'm trying to cut in front of him. Man, anyone remember, uh, I don't know why I randomly thought of this. I was thinking of, like, game redos that they've done. I remember Bomberman Act Zero, how they made, like, a 360. They made, like, a dark, gritty, like, post-apocalyptic Bomberman. Anyone remember when they were going to do that with Mega Man? All that there was was, like, some tech demo footage of it. And it was Mega Man X, but it was called, like, uh, I think it was just called Maverick Hunter or something like that. And it was going to be a first-person shooter, like Metroid Prime style. But it was weird, because Mega Man was completely mechanical. He was just a weird-looking, like, machine. It was weird. I think it was just called Maverick Hunter on 360. Bah, lucky greenie wins. Must play last game. Only eat what is shown at top of screen. God, man, this needs to end already. Yeah, it was Edgelord Bomberman. Very true. <sighs> Ambunet's a statue, by the way, up here. It's not a statue. I own that one. It's actually one of these, uh... It's actually... Oh, you know what? Here. Let me show you. Oh, never mind. I got a bunch of stuff on it. <laughs> I didn't feel like moving it. But it, it's a... It's a... Like a 1-6... I think it's 1-6 scale. It's a figure. It's a very high quality. Like a... It, it's the same size as the ones that would come in, like, the collector's editions of the games. It's really detailed. But they want to do an actual, like, full cool size statue of her. Um, they have a, a Desmond figure, too, that's really cool. That comes with the Animus from Assassin's Creed 2. But yeah, they don't have a full scale statue of her yet. It's part of the Animus line that I want. Dick! Come on. Yeah, it's cool, too, because the Desmond one, I think he, the Animus uh, lights up and stuff. Oh, I won. I beat him. Got him. Mr. Vile never lost before. Greeny can have a prize. Give me that. Mr. Vile now has tougher challenge. You must win next three games to win three extra life. No, I don't. Leave me alone. Am I the only one seeing these shoes? All oh, the shoes. I don't know. What are those shoes? Yeah, I noticed them just chilling over there. I'm not sure what the shoes are for. I'm not trying to play the game. I don't even know what those shoes are for. 
That whole thing was screaming DK64 minigame. I hated the DK64 minigame. With the stupid, the, the little, the little Kremlings that you had to knock in the barrel or whatever. Oh, that used to piss me off. What am I missing here? I'm only missing one more puzzle piece. Where could it be? I haven't seen it. Oh, you know where it is? That other alligator, that shit, the egg in its mouth. Oh, where was that? I don't remember where it appeared last. I think there's one left. That one that I didn't get. I think it was the red one or whatever. Shit, I'm going to have to look for it. I don't think I need to be an alligator anymore. Sneakers let you move faster? I couldn't get them, though. The thing, like, they were just... I, I would just pass right through them. I don't know. Actually, going back to these statues, if you guys are interested in seeing them up closer, um, I'm actually um, doing a room tour video this week, too. So I'm going to be doing that, showing off all just everything around here, the way everything looks now. Because <laughs> people keep asking me about all my stuff, all the collectibles on the sides and stuff. So I was like, yeah, let's do an updated room tour. I haven't done one in a little bit now. The last one I did was in the other room. Missed something behind Mumbo's throne. Who's over there? Oh, it was one of the skulls. I suppose I could use that. I gotta find that uh, golden alligator. Yeah, some of these levels are shorter than I remember them being. I, I specifically remember some of these levels being really, really long. It's probably because when I was younger, though, I wasn't as familiar with the game. So I was probably wandering around a lot, trying to figure out what to do. Um, see, I thought it teleported up here somewhere. Like, up on, up on the top on the vines. Well, let's go up there and see. Or did it... Let me look up here. Anyone remember where it teleported? I thought it was up here. Let's see what secrets we, we discover up here. There's the witch switch. I got that. See, I think that's where he was originally. I thought he I thought he was there and I, I hit it with the egg. Okay, so he's not there. It's gotta be up on the on the walkways somewhere. Has to be. Because I know that's the only one I'm missing. It's got to be that one. There it is. See, I got to get all these. I think I got to do them over. Yeah, because I think if you leave the area... Yummy, Croc just like that. All right. Yep, this is it. Done 100% this map, too. Give him the yummy egg. Excellent. Uh, over here. See, I, I gotta pay attention where the last one appears. So I could have gotten. I should have gotten that first. See, look, that. I think that's the one that I uh, got last. And then after that, I didn't get the last one. One figure I want to get now is Don Tell is the Dark Turtle by Mecca. The Dark Turtle. 
Who's, what's the dark turtle? It's like Universal Monster. There we go. Oh yeah. See, no, I didn't hit that that one. Damn it. Man, I went to a uh, <laughs> random story. I went to a Mexican restaurant yesterday. Let me tell you something. It's a new one that opened up in my area. That place is not going to last a year, man. We have too many good Mexican restaurants in my area. And I finally found a Mexican restaurant where, you know, they always give you chips and salsa. I finally found one. And Ozzy, I was telling you about this. I finally found one where the salsa has no taste. How do you mess up salsa that bad that it just doesn't have a taste? It tastes like nothing. I was highly offended. Terrible. Do you have a favorite OST from Assassin's Creed? There's so many good ones. Black Flag has a great one. Origins has a really good one. Valhalla won a freaking Grammy. <laughs> I mean, yeah, most of them have really good music. Except Altair's Chronicles. <laughs> that one barely has music. That one has like one song. Yes! There we go. We did it! Essentially, Don Shadow dresses Batman. It was an episode in the original cartoon. Like, uh, like Darkwing Duck. Or not like Darkwing Duck, uh, or Bartman. That was not Mexican made. You know what's funny? Everyone, it was supposedly authentic Mexican. Um, everyone there seemed Mexican and, and spoke Spanish. And it was decorated like a very Mexican, like, hole-in-the-wall place, but... I, I feel like the can... Or, I feel like the salsa, it, it tasted like they just bought it out of a can. Like, it didn't taste homemade. It tasted like they went to Walmart and just got, like, some great, uh, like, a uh, great value chip salsa. Like, that's what it tasted like. And if you know that salsa, like, that's not real Mexican salsa. It has no flavor to it. That, that seems like what they did. But like I said, I tasted it, I was like, what is this travesty? Yeah, I'm not going back there again. I hope you hit the witch with I did it, yeah. That was in the in one of the huts. Now let me get my boots. And then we'll go to that other tunnel. Yeah, there's so many little areas in around here. Yeah, it's only 10 o'clock we've already made it to three worlds. But three worlds, right? Progress. It's funny, this is piranha infested water. I don't see anything in that water. They're lies. Filthy lies. Freeze easy peak. I gotta get the puzzle piece from the other area. Uh, required ice level. Was this restaurant a predominantly white neighborhood? Now that you mention that, yes, it is, actually. It, it, it's in a predominantly white suburban neighborhood, and it's an area where uh, it's kind of the wealthier side of people live. So it's funny you say that, actually. <laughs> it very much, yes, very much so. Can't go in there yet. I don't think. Let me get that puzzle piece in it. <laughs> what do you say? They can't handle the spice? <laughs> I gotta go back. Alright. We'll go back in there after I get the, uh... Because I got the witch switch, so I gotta go with that puzzle piece before I forget. Let me get that one. Then I'll return to Mumbo. I think it was on this side. 
I think I could get it now. I think the switch switch opened it, right? Is there anything up there? No, nothing up there. Wahoo! Might you the Picante Salsa commercial? This stuff's made in New York City. Oh. See, did this open? This open, right? That what what did the witch switch open? I forgot what it opened. I thought it was this. Guess not. How many do I have? Oh look, we can open that now. Yeah, there's just so many areas to travel. I don't want to go in here yet. I judge a Mexican restaurant by if they actually offer homemade salsa. Yeah, it, you gotta have homemade salsa. Like, you can't just have shit out of can, honestly. But th this salsa that I... It had to have been out of can. It had to have been something straight out of a can. There's no way that was authentic. Authentic homemade salsa. Impossible. I love my salsa. The Chili's salsa was way the hell better. And that's... That's pretty basic. Uh, I'm going too far out. Let's see what's over here. Did you ever have a district taco? What do you mean district taco? Is that like a, a sp like a business district taco? If it is, I've never heard of it. Too many different places. I gotta focus and pick one. I mentioned my family. The lack of flavor of salsa. I do think it's not real Mexican. Yeah, there was nothing. And, and, and it's weird too, because like... You know when you have salsa that's chunky and you have salsa that's, you know, a little thinner and a little more liquidy, you know, like with less stuff in it? Uh, this one had it was so weird. It just it all right. It didn't taste anything like it, but just you know what tomato sauce looks like. <laughs> it looked like tomato sauce, but more watery. Like if you actually just n nothing tasted like it. If you looked at it, that's what it looked like. It just looked like tomato sauce. She has rat bagels for breakfast, by the way. <laughs> Then she usually has slug stew for dinner. Wart bag that finishes with cockroaches and cream for dessert. Alright. I really need to go back. <laughs> that went too far. Wait, does this take me back to where I need to go? Let me see. I'll go here. I think I missed a puzzle piece. If you think I'm rather soft, I'll be waiting in the loft. Haha. <laughs> yeah, this game is a musical masterpiece for its time. 100%. See, there's one thing I hate about snowy levels. That, like the the slippery floors. <laughs> Ten seconds. Well, the spider webs are still there. All right, I'm just gonna go in here. Freeze easy peek. I like the music here. It's so cheery. Smiles you at Christmas and sledding. The pig's got another new move waiting for you. If you can find it. Ah, my feet are slippery, man. So I've never played these games since they're a simple premise. His little sister. All right. So basically the ugly witch, Gruntilda, wants to be beautiful and young. So she captured Banjo's little sister. What's her name? Tootie? Something like that. Tootie, Tootie Fruity. <laughs> captured his little sister to... Uh, 
put her in a machine that's going to make her ugly and make the witch pretty. And you have to save her. It's stupid. <laughs> that's what it is. So we're on a quest to save his little sister and stop the evil witch Gruntilda. And you do that by uh, finding musical notes and puzzle pieces. Wow, where's our presents? Our dad Boggy said he was fetching them. He's been gone ages. Wow. Well, kids, he probably abandoned you. And left your 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 mother for another woman. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, it's horrible. Stop crying! Banjo's over here terrorizing these poor abandoned polar bears. All right, let's go down here. We and I missed it. Groan. My stomach aches. I shouldn't have eaten that shiny thing. Someone help poor Boggy. It's disgusting glutton. I hate you. I'll help you. That should absolutely get it out. You got sta yeah, standard video game premise. Yep. Save the little sister from an evil witch. We had a call in game show called Hugo that sort of had that plot, but the witch kidnaps his wife to make her beautiful. Yeah, it's a standard thing they've done in several media, I guess. I love those evil snowmen. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> it's so dastardly. <clears throat> Still not as great a story as Double Dragon Neon with Skullmageddon causing trouble just to get a date with Varian. That was, man, Double Dragon Neon's amazing. We need a sequel, hands down. Or another Battletoads crossover with them. That polar bear is me when I'm waiting for Uber Eats. That's hilarious. You got, speaking, I don't know why it's reminding me of Uber Eats. I, I guess because we're talking about people going to your house. Um, the other day, we actually had a, uh, in our area, we, we follow like our, our county's like sheriff's office. And we actually saw on uh, Facebook, they posted the other day a whole, a whole paragraph and put a video clip showing this. But apparently, there was a guy that some lady was at her house and she looks at her window absolutely terrifying and she sees someone's face staring in the house and then the guy just vanishes so it's, it's, it's crazy so th this guy uh, or this lady calls the cops right away obviously and they look around the neighborhood and this guy they catch this guy matching the description and they catch him looking in someone else's windows. This guy was going around the neighborhood just peeping inside the houses, the, the windows of houses in the middle of the night. It's like 11 or 12 o'clock at night. Um, and they were, and you see on the body cam, they were like, what are you doing? Come here, let me talk to you. And the guy eventually starts walking real fast and running and they basically chase after him. And then they find him. He went to like a swampy area where there's a thousand percent gators. A thousand percent. But he was hiding in the swamp, like, laying down in the bushes and stuff. And they were, like, yelling him to get out, and he got arrested, and they were like, what are you doing? And uh, the guy said that he has a compulsion that he just can't help it. He needs to peep in people's homes. It's like, what the fuck? So, obviously, they arrest. He was some 29-year-old dude. They arrested him and charged him with, like, Lord and Ring and, I don't know, peeping and shit. Whatever you get in trouble for. But they're putting a bunch of charges on him now. It, uh, those are the kind of people that later you investigate their house and they have like 10 bodies under their house. But what the hell, man? Like, people are nuts. That's terrible. You imagine you're just sitting there like with your family in the middle of the night and then out of nowhere. Just like, oh, there's someone looking in the window. I would beat the hell out of that person. I don't even care. I'll go to jail. Wait, what do you want? Come here. Let me go to Mumbo's house. So much stuff here. You're playing your stream N64 Classic by the name of Quest 64. I played it back in the day. It's the reason I had to buy an N64 memory card, but I've never streamed it now. 
one of those games that people say are a bad game, too. I remember liking it. Grim topic while you're playing chill for, chill for game. Cheerful. I sit down at the guy looking like bottles, looking in the house, and he has giant glasses. Nice one, goggles. Tell me more. When you're flying, press X to launch Kazooie out of target. Like a missile. A missile. Choose your targets carefully, though. As it costs red feathers each time you use it. Bottles truly is a, a, a jack of all trades. He's an expert warrior. Sounds like a case for Chris Hansen, yeah. Makes you wonder, though, what the guy's intentions were like. Are you really just peeping, or were you planning on, on doing something more horrible, you know? There's some lunatics out there, man. So you, you always got to be paying attention to your surroundings at all times. They're just crazy people. Heading from a red carpet mat. Wesley, you saw Ant-Man? Or was it just like a... Like outside, like for the red carpet. You always have all kinds of activities over where you are. Oh, no. I didn't mean to do that. I was just testing out my newfound abilities. Ice cubes. God, this game still holds up so well, though. It's so much fun to play. Like, it doesn't even feel outdated. Start watching a stream a few minutes ago. Well, welcome. We are in the fourth world. In this excellent adventure. Hey, it's a present. I am a present. Give me to someone sad. All those selfish little beggars that just want presents. They don't care about their father. This is supposed to be a giant Christmas tree. Yeah, I love the ornaments. It's Christmas world. It was outside, but I took some photos, so I'm getting my shine back. Nice. I can't wait to see it, man. I think it's gonna be a good movie. I want to see what's what's uh the, the big deal about Kang the Conqueror, MCU wise. I mean, like what he's up to. Go all the way to the top. Get some eggs. Oh man, can I even get that yet? Oh man. I don't think I get that yet. It's, it's a frozen ice. Alright, let's go ahead and kill those snowmen. Those are gonna be my primary targets. Gonna be snowmen. So you know what? I should have made my lights like a uh, blue and yellow, like banjo, banjo. Actually, here, you know what? I will do it. Yeah, just change the light colors. Let's go. Uh, let's go blue. Got them here in my app. Let's do. Let's do this. Select all. There we go. There's one. See, like, magic. You imagine this, like, being a kid in the 90s and actually, like, the neon lighting in a room and stuff. Now it's just some basic ass LEDs. Back then, like, that would have been, like, futuristic technology. Blue and red. No, I think blue and yellow, like, his pants, I mean. All right, here. We'll do... Select all. They're in three parts. It's the top left and right. There we go. Got a little bit of blue. This is this is this is kind of orange. We'll keep it that way. Why not? How much did the lights cost? I don't remember because I had some gift cards from Amazon too. I think normally depending on what you get, because they they come in. I had to return a couple because like this one. It just goes up there, like that, like an arch. 
and um, I had to buy, I bought three packs because my plan was to connect them all. I didn't realize they don't actually connect to each other. They, they, they go a certain length and they have their own power adapter. So I had to get three separate units of different sizes. There, there's the top ones that are shorter and then the left and the right. There's a little gap in the middle because they don't, they don't, they're not long enough to connect directly to each other. But I put my Assassin's Creed uh, Spear of Leonidas in the middle there to make it look cool. You guys will see it in the room tour video. But yeah, I think, I don't know, I think they were like 60 or something for, for the bigger ones and like 40 for the smaller ones. But I had some gift cards and like some coupons too. Missed. This game's so grand in scale, it's pretty amazing how they did all this. Yeah, on an N64 card back in the day. Keep in mind, this is what I always remind people when, when I play N64 games. Remember, this was coming off of the uh, Super Nintendo era. Like, so just imagine going from like Super Mario World to this. That's a huge jump in technology. Protect us from the Twinkie Muncher, Twinkly Munchers as we hop across to a tree. If enough of us get there, we can light the tree for you. Oh no, the Twinkly Munchers. Wait a minute. Wait, how do I protect you? Oh. Well, a couple of your little friends uh, have been sacrificed. No, oh my god, they're getting devoured. That's so sad. Poor foolish Christmas lights. The Twinklies. Oh, he's dead. Monsters. Turok 2 was a large game for N64. Yeah. I think it required the expansion pack, too. I know it used it. I think it required it. I want to see you play Banjo Dreamy. It's a ROM hack. Banjo Dreamy. It's like an N64 ROM hack. This is where the teen, <laughs> this is where the teen rating came from, maybe. Now switch us on. We gotta light the Christmas tree now. Poor Christmas lights. I did not save all of them. Half their friends are dead. Whatever, I tried. That's all that matters. Oh, are they not up here? Oh, I remember there was like a plug or something you had to do. Let's go down. <laughs> Wee, woo. All right. I power these fuckers on. Big ass ice. Oh, look. There we go. Look at that ice cube just waiting to kill me. Be, be a star and you'll find your reward. Oh! Okay, here we go. It's for the N64, the ROM app? I'll have to look that up. I never heard about it. Does it feel like a significantly different game? What do you mean, be a star? Oh, I think I have to fly to the top. I think that's what it is. Yeah, I'm tired of climbing in this tree. Now I'm gonna run out of time. There. Yeah, see, so you have to fly through the ring, I think. Now I just gotta find the flight pad over here, and then we do it. Wasn't it over here? Here it is. All right, today we are going to be a star. It's a nice little tree. Here we go. I 
hell? How many times did I do this shit? Okay, three. In we go. Actually, before that, now that we're in the air, let's hit these. I think we hit these buttons. Yeah, there we go. Sounded like it said gumball. Gumball! Yeah, I know it's just like crazy. Ugh. Perfect. That's two right there. Actually, we can kill the snowmen too. Come here, snowmen. Death from above. All you dicks. See, there's a lot of stuff here. Like one little flight. All right, let's kill the snowmen. Get that. And then we'll get the Christmas tree one. It's knocking out like three birds and one stone there. Oh, you son of a bitch. Come on, man. Now they're going to respawn, I think. No! Didn't we get a present for these little idiots? All right, let me go in here. Wow, where's our presents? Or Ted Boggy said he was fetching them. All right. Now you get nothing. Yeah, I did get sniped. <laughs> that was a bullseye, man. He was just like, Fwah! get that big ass bear. Yeah, no, he messed me up. Oh, man. I hope I don't have to do the thing with the Christmas tree again. Like, I hope it's still there waiting for me. Fat ass. Oh, man. I should have gotten the dick. Ah, fuck. I should have gotten it when I was there. I really should have. Now I gotta fly up and do that again. Come on. It's unreasonable. It's nonsense. Look, I had this present too. I already got that. Jump on his stomach. Yeah, I did jump on his stomach. I think I have to learn something. <laughs> I gotta do it again. Damn these Twinklies. Damn them. And their beautiful colored magic. Here we go again. Alright, let me not mess up this time. <laughs> no more fooling around. Turn my LED bulbs to flashing colors in the nightclub section. Conquer to go with the Vibe Nights. Yeah, these have a bunch of... I like them solid because it's too distracting. But these have a bunch of different uh, features. They, it's actually too many. They got a bunch of like, different holidays, different feelings and everything. Like they have a breathing function where it looks like they're breathing almost. And I just like leaving them a solid color. Sometimes multiple because they're, they're, they're in segments. Like, I guess inside the LED is programmable by different segments. So you can make it, like, all the different colors of the world if you want. You can make it, like, a rainbow if you want to. But, yeah, for me, if it's too much color, it's distracting. So I just leave it as one. This is the second row of N64 games? Yeah, maybe. Alright, let me not mess this up. Yeah, I kind of want to take out the snowman again now that I'm up here. Maybe I will. Maybe I will, and I'll try not to mess up. Although, I am running low on feathers. Alright, we got the stupid puzzle piece there. First, revenge. Which means this guy goes first. Come here. Vengeance will be mine! Asshole! Oh, he really doesn't want to go. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Let's just go. We'll be back. 
I'll be back. You're not safe. He's safe for now. All right, let me get that present. Then we go to the Christmas tree. Damn you. The water's too damn cold. Burr, it's cold. Nice warm backpack for me, too. Uh, the snowmen are flea men. They absolutely, they're big ass flea men. Here we go. I was thinking of having the orange coat throughout the stream, but it didn't look right to me. Yeah, some colors, like for example, when I do it yellow, if it's like a solid yellow on stream, it kind of looks green. It the, the camera picks the, like, a, like a different hue. Like if I make it look like a like a light purple on the camera, it actually looks like a white. It looks different to the human eye than it does to the camera. Is Superman 64 or worst game on N64? Oh, on N64? I don't know. Maybe there are worse games. It's definitely one of them. It's the damn rings. That's the problem with the game. Okay. Here we go! Alright, now, the death of the snowmen. Okay. Ah, oh, I probably should have gotten the others. Slipping sliding everywhere, though. Here we go. Revenge again. God, how do they aim so well? God, they're amazing snipers. Oh my god, I hate you so much. Look at that shit. Stop it! <laughs> uh. Look at that, man. They're, they're expert snipers. Ah, there you go. Eat that. Eat that. Alright, last one. No, there's one more, actually. <laughs> oh, no, there's another. Two more. No, we, we're destroying out all the... We're destroying the entire family. Any others? All right, I think it's just this one. Come here. Your family started this! <laughs> oh, cool. All right, now we gotta fly all the way up there. Oh my God, hold on, I'm losing track of what to do. This is too much. Oh no! My feathers! No! No! <laughs> I ran out of feathers! I can't even get up there now. That sucks. I'm gonna come back with more feathers. All right, we got the present at least. There's Jinjo. I can't do shit. All right, I have to remember to come up here with feathers. How am I gonna get that Jinjo? I can't even see over there because the camera angle here. At least I got some musical notes. Where'd he go? Oh, he's on the broom. I'm coming, Jinjo. There. It actually looks really fun, that slide. All right. So I get this is a video game, but imagine this scenario in real life. Imagine you were Banjo, and you saw this ahead of you. The only way down was to go down this slide. <laughs> I mean, is that not absolutely horrifying? Look at this. That's scary as hell, man. You'd slip and go out. There's no rails. That was really high up. 
Oh, we got a couple feathers. I gotta remember where all the snowmen were. I gotta get all the stuff that they uh, left behind. If I could find them all. Dick. Oh, come on. How'd your life counter not go down even though you have nine lives? I have a bunch of extra lives. I think it just, I think it counts up to nine, but it's still, you get credit for all the extra lives. Because I've been collecting a bunch of different extra lives. It's the same slide of death in Mario 64, yeah. Absolutely terrifying. Yeah, there are no rails. Imagine going down that <laughs> with no rails and you just have to control yourself like as you slide. Hell no. I'm good. I would just stay up there and call 911. Like fly a chopper out to come get me. All right. There is musical notes in there. Let's get those. We still we, we got a mission in the air still. Oh, wait, I got all three presents, didn't I? For these stupid kids. Let's go see them. I heard a, a ginger whistling at me. There he is. That's how you know where they are. They whistle at you. He cat called me. Alright, there's the one here. I'm going to collect so many feathers so I can fly gracefully and peacefully and <laughs> not be interrupted in my travels. How many blood-curdling screams did Mario let out as he fell thousands of feet to his death in Mario 64? Yeah, the slide was... Well, oh, all right, you're talking about Mario. <laughs> what about the baby penguin? You know we all threw the baby penguin off in front of his poor mother. <laughs> If you say you never did that once, you're a liar, and I don't believe it. <laughs> that dastardly piglin. Isn't that a honeycomb piece there? Where? Well, the ones that are filled in are, are energy, keep in mind. Not a, not a honeycomb piece. Alright, let's fly back up. I gotta go all the way to the damn top. All the way. Oh, come on. I made it. Ah. God, these ice cubes are annoying. Guilty of charge for throwing the penguin. I know. <laughs> You're being honest. Everyone else is lying. I have video proved me gleefully chucking that baby penguin off the cliff in front of Mama Penguin. It's so shocking to me that Nintendo programmed a way in there for you to do that. Like, the fact that they didn't invisible wall the baby. They were like, you know what? If the player wants to chuck this innocent baby penguin off the side of the mountain, let them do it. It's like, why? Why did you let me do that, Nintendo? Did they secretly want that to happen? Did Miyamoto secretly wish ill on this baby penguin? And his poor mother. Okay. So let's go down here. I'm probably going to mess this up. God. Right here. How is that not terrifying? It's literally as scary as Rainbow Road. Oof! That's better. Hey, you found my sled. I'm going to practice for the big race now. See you, buddy. So you just grab that jigsaw piece that's just covered in shit. Cause it, it it just digested itself out of that giant bear. I saw your list to say liberation. Yes, we will be streaming Assassin's Creed Liberation on a on a soon to be upcoming Friday.
Look, I got your stupid present, you greedy little dicks. You don't even care about your father. He could have been he could have been in danger. Yippee! Now we've all got presents. Here's something for you. I wish you could just steal their presents back and just haul ass. That was two baby penguins in that level. Did you destroy both? Can you explain this? You died to the snowman, then when you were in your life counter didn't go down? That's because I have above nine lives. The counter only goes up to nine, but you can have more than that. So now I probably have like, I don't know, 13 or 14. But the counter doesn't reflect that. That's why. If I die enough, it, eventually it'll go, go down. All right, I guess we'll go to Mumbo Jumbo now. The practicer of the dark arts. Where's the house over there? What have I? What, what have I done over there? There's stuff over there. Hold on. Is that a honeycomb or health? No, nah, that. Oh, I think that is an. I think you guys are right. I think that is an actual honeycomb. Yeah. Oh, it's got a health piece inside of it. That's why I thought it was a regular one. It had one floating in there. What, what do I have left here? Let's see. Still a little bit. Um, it is too damn cold. I could have flown over here, but whatever. Take shortcut. Oh no! I, I don't have time. Oh, that's just a cross back over. Oh man! Well, now I gotta get hurt again. Ahoy! I need 15. I got 22. Hey, he's got a Jinjo hostage here. Alright, just got a little orange one left. I, man, it, I love these like old platformer like collect-a-thon games. It makes you feel so accomplished just grabbing all the stuff. I really gotta play, uh... What was it called? I, I almost said Yankee Doodle. Um, ukulele. Freaking ukulele. I still gotta finish that. I originally beat Ghost of Shima on PS4. I just upgraded Director's Cut on PS5. My jaw's on the floor with these visuals. Well, keep in mind, that game on the PS4 was already jaw-dropping. So, yeah. PS5, it, it has just enough of that graphical push to just... My God. <laughs> yeah, no, Ghost of Tsushima looks amazing. Absolutely beautiful game. For the ghost! Ooh, we got all the notes. There we go. You found all 100 notes on this world. Well done. Alright, let's go talk to the walrus, my big ass. Ukulele, another victim of the infamous backlog. Wasn't there another ukulele game that came out also? It's like a platform, like a 2D platform or something, isn't it? Thought there was another one. Yeah, I don't. I that I know. I don't think the sequel is the same kind of game, right? Hello there. Wow, another walrus. Take this, but watch out for a smelly brown bear and his ugly bird partner. How dare you? Come here. Man, <laughs> I got a funny story about a walrus. I, I went to SeaWorld once, um, and there was a walrus. There, there was this ride there called the Wild Arctic. Kind of shitty ride, not the point. But outside the ride, when you get off, you're in like the Arctic area. So all the animals in that exhibit and everything are like, you know, like ice animals, like beluga whales and all this shit. But it, it was hilarious. 
Hey, I want that Jinjo. It was hilarious because there were a bunch of kids, like, looking at a walrus. But, whoa, he's huge. I have never seen such a horrific sight. <laughs> this walrus. He, like, he, like, goes like this. He, 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 like, arches downwards, like, the top half of his body. And he's in front of all these kids looking. And they're like, whoa, what is he doing? His dick comes out. It took me a second to realize what I was looking at. If you've never seen a walrus genitalia, it, it's shocking. <laughs> it was like this long thing flopping in the water and he grabs it like he hugs it and starts going like this. And I was like, what is that? And I was like, oh, when I realized what I was looking, it doesn't look like one. <laughs> And all the kids were like, all the parents were like, oh my god, like walking away from there. And all the kids were like, oh, what is he doing? What's he grabbing? <laughs> it was horrific. But it, it was one of those things where you're just so unprepared for that. You're like, it, it, it takes you a minute to realize what you're looking at. And then once you realize from a process of elimination of what it could possibly be, you're like, oh, oh my god. It was quite horrifying. Yeah. And then I've also seen a, a lot of... They must see a lot of crazy shit at SeaWorld. Because it's the animal kingdom. You can't control what they do. So, oftentimes... Sometimes you see the boy dolphins. You know, the little things come out. And they chase the other boy dolphins and start humping their backs. <laughs> like, I've seen that multiple times. I actually worked at SeaWorld for one spring break. My, my high school had, like, some kind of student program. Where during spring break, they would take a bus full of students and you work for a week or two at SeaWorld for like job experience and stuff. And I did that. And the shit you see these animals do, you realize like we truly have no control over nature. They're going to do whatever they want to do. If he wants to a whip, whip it out and flash people in the audience, he's going to do it. <laughs> this is horrifying. But yeah, um, I, I can confidently say that I've seen the junk of a walrus live it, 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 it's horrific it's horrific um, it's got to be one of the largest objects in the animal kingdom it, I don't know what else to say <laughs> but that was my experience where am I going I'm talking about a walrus penis in a banjo kazooie game rated T for teen oh look see there's more lives here Had a moment similar to that at our zoo a few years ago with the tortoises doing it. I haven't seen the tortoises. <laughs> oh, man, that's crazy. And I remember what, oh my God. I remember this, too. Um, at Bush Gardens once, I mean, my, my buddy used to work for some internet company that they used to give him, like, an annual, like, oh, a once, once a year pass to go. And he was like, hey, you want to go to Bush Gardens? So, you know, we took, like, a two-hour drive. Bush Gardens went over there for the day. And they had a gorilla exhibit. It was funny as shit like we were at the in the gorilla exhibit there it, it's like this imagine like stadium seating and there's like a little like i don't know what to call it, like a little mini canyon and then like a little island in the middle and that's where the gorillas are so this gorilla was just sitting there minding his own business he had his back turned to everyone and you know all the tours like oh my god look gorilla taking photos posing and shit all of a sudden i hear people screaming and <laughs> At first, oh my god, oh, I can't even say it without laughing. <laughs> At first, you think the worst, you're like, oh no, like what's happening? Like something horrible must have happened. <laughs> I see this gorilla. This gorilla, he's picking shit out of his ass and he's flinging it like at people. And people are just running, and you see these brown turds flying in the air. They do that apparently, they fling their shit at people if they're irritated. But that's what they were remarking their territory. So I'm not a biologist or like a gorilla poopologist. But yeah, he was like, but the way he was throwing it, he was doing that and like curving and like throwing it to the side like this. It was like when you watch the movie Wanted and they're like curving bullets. He was curving turds. <laughs> it was like expert level. I don't know if anyone actually got hit, but it caused a rampage of people. Everyone's running away. Luckily, I wasn't in the line of fire. I was like on the side somewhere near like some tiger exhibit, but I could see it clearly happening. And I was laughing my ass off when I realized what was happening. This 
this gorilla was terrorizing people with feces. Like, and he was doing it like it was like the snowmen here. It was like homing missiles. Like he had just expert Olympian levels of of, of shit throwing. <laughs> Zoo animals have no chill. Yeah, no, I'm telling you, you can't control them. They're gonna do what they're gonna do. Like if he wants to put his hand in his ass crack and throw a turd, he's gonna do it. He's got to let the man do it. Let him let him have his fun. Oh, here he goes. We got this stupid race here. Hey, Mr. Walrus, fancy a race? Hop on the sled if you do. Uh, sure. I must. How do you control this? I don't see any mechanism to control this thing. Oh, I hate races and games. Here we go. Come on. I'll defeat you, Fat Bear. Oh, he's speeding up. Does this, this polar bear have a family to raise? Oh, oh, you son of a bitch. No! He knocked me off course. This is too easy. I'm giving up. He knocked me off course. That wasn't fair. It's messed up, man. Come on, Mr. Willerus. Have a race with me. All right, let's do it. Let's do it again. Good luck, kid. Can I speed up at all? I don't think I speed up on this. I wish I could knock him off course. Go. No, no. He's catching up again. Oh, God. No! Oh my god, look at him, look at him, look at him, he's getting too close! Oh, what a prick. Oh my god. He's trying to push me. It is genuinely hard to turn. <laughs> ah! No, no. <laughs> I jumped over him. I jumped over him. Please. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, God. That was so close. I hate that. I hate races and video games. They stress me out. Earl, 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 Earl. Keep my puzzle piece. I think I'm still missing, what, two of them? Still missing two? Where the hell could they be? I don't feel like I'm missing two, but I am. Still two here, apparently. All right. Well, let, let's uh, let's let's find them. If you want to see interesting wildlife, check this out. Oh, you put YouTube link. Tell you too. I remember when I went to Bush Gardens that day. Like my 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 parents were freaking out because I convinced them. Like, there, there were some cheetahs by some glass. I took a picture of them like this, like, right next to them. But it looked, in the photo, it looked like I was literally next to them. It was laying right next to me, but there was glass. And I convinced my parents that, like, I... I don't know why they believed me. They, I convinced them that I, I took a tour and went in, like, the cheetah pen. And I was able to take pictures right next to them. And they believed that they were freaking out all day. Like, why would you do that? That's extremely dangerous. Like, why would you do that? I carried the story all day because I thought it was hilarious, but no, I was not in the cheetah pen. I was just in the glass next to the cheetahs. Where do I go? Alright, I fixed the dad's, uh, I don't know, marital issues. By, uh, getting presents for his children. I probably, I did the race. I guess I gotta turn back into a bear. I probably have to fly up somewhere. Oh my god, I'm so slow in this form. Look at this. Yeah, I probably have to fly somewhere. Damn it. Mumbo's all the way across, though. Oh. 
Look at that. There's a mumbo skull. Race as yourself? Is there another race, though? I want to get out of this form so bad. It's so slow. Maybe I should do some of that village. Okay, get my golden feather. Maybe I do have to race as myself, because he's still waiting over there like a jackass. So I probably do. Oh, there's something on that chimney. It might just be a flight pad, though. I'm not sure. Let's go look. Turn me back, Mumbo. I wonder what Mumbo Jumbo's face looks like. And Banjo Kazooie nuts and bolts. Aren't you just like making the cars and stuff? You have to like build vehicles and shit. I need to play that sometime. But I, I, I I'm probably gonna hate that. If that's the case, it doesn't all feel like Banjo Kazooie. Yeah, there's an extra life up there. Um, yeah, see up there, I see something. Of course. Yeah, it's a flight thing. You know what? I could use this to get that extra life. Might as well. I'm already here. Come on, I want to get it without having to land. Get it? Yeah, see? Yeah, see, you see the lives? They don't go past nine. Wouldn't watch a junk trying to hit on nuts and bolts convince me how bad it is. I'll stream it sometime. It'll be interesting getting my first reactions on it because it seems very different from what uh, you th you'd think a Banjo-Kazooie game would be. Yeah, does he want me to race again? Hey, buddy, fancy a race against Boggy? I, I guess? Oh, I can't use the shoes. Run through the gates to beat me to the end. Let's do it. Well, I can't. Okay. You win. Fat polar bear. an asshole. They live. It's too easy. I give up. Yeah, no shit. Chadwick, plus a three months membership. One more night of work and I get to enjoy delicious bourbon and gaming. Nice. This weekend shift has been a nutty one. What do you do for work? You can say it generically. You don't have to be exact. I'm backing out. No, come on, stop talking to me. Back out. Back out. <sighs> Have you tried to draw a trod video of a Titanic animated? There was a Titanic animated. You're kidding, right? What do you mean? <laughs> Why would it be a Titanic children's movie? It's animated, I assume it's for kids. I wonder if they made it, like, when Titanic was popular, the movie, I mean. Because you know they do that often. Like, they'll, like it'll, something will get popular in a movie, and suddenly you'll get bootlegs that pop up. And that happened with uh, a lot of stuff. Like, back in the Blockbuster video days, like, Transformers came out, and you'd see Transmorphers. I remember when uh, Blade came out, you had, you had vampires. <laughs> and it was in the ghetto. So stupid. What am I missing? I'm missing two puzzle pieces, and I don't know where they are. What the hell, man?
I don't see anything I haven't been to yet. The polar bear kids I already went to. Did that already. The only thing is this race, but I, I can't use those shoes yet. I'd imagine that's one of them, but if I can't use the shoes, what can I do? Is the one Jinjo on the... I have all the Jinjos in this level. Yeah. Oh, no, I don't. You're right. Oh, you're right. He was in the walrus cave, but I didn't know how to get to him. You're right. You're right. You're right. I forgot about that. I'm glad you said that. But I can only go in the cave as a walrus. Let's go back over there. If I can find the damn cave now. <laughs> Where was it? I think I gotta race him as a walrus. Is this another race though? Because I already raced him. And I beat him. Well, either way, I think I gotta turn into a walrus for the purpose of the walrus cave. Yeah, I raced him as a walrus already, and I, I won. Completely forgot about that other ninja jail. I bet the puzzle piece is over there, too. All right, Walrus Cave. Come here, my fellow Walrus friends. All right, there's a Honeycomb Energy piece. There's the Walrus Cave. I hate this Walrus movement. Oh, can I make that jump? Yes, I can. See, there's the cave. Maybe there's a backside entrance. Uh, or not. No! Alright, we're in the walrus cave. So the Jinjo's up here. How the hell... I don't think I can change back to normal either, like from here. Unless I see uh, Mumbo Jumbo. But then how the hell do I get in this cave? Cause I don't think the walrus is gonna let me in. Unless he does. I can try it. He's floppy ass. I thought the big walrus blocked his cave till he met him as well. Yeah, he was, but I guess he stays in the cave then. Maybe I can come in here as Banjo. Because that's the only way I could reach a Jinjo. I assume that if... I mean, maybe he'll stay in here. Couldn't walk in there as Banjo? I couldn't before. Maybe now I can. Diddy Kong Racing was a fun N64 game. That game's a classic. I love Diddy Kong Racing. It's criminal that it never got a sequel game, or in fact, an entire series. It, that game could have easily lived alongside Mario Kart as an epic racing game with multiple entries. The, they were actually going to do a sequel called Donkey Kong Racing on GameCube, and it was all going to be like animals you're riding and stuff, but you can see like beta footage online, or like alpha footage or some early footage. But uh, yeah, the game never, Nintendo canned it before it went into production. <clears throat> it would have been cool. Would have been cool having like a, a Nintendo racing title besides Mario Kart. I don't count F Zero because technically Sega produced it. At least GX. Let's 
go along with Crash Team Racing as well. I forgot they remade that. Do I own that? I might own it, actually. I'm not sure. Walrus Cave. Yeah, I think we can go in there as Banjo now. I think we are currently allowed. Call me a fat bear, though. <laughs> Being Donkey Kong, Diddy Kong Racing was tough. That final boss was brutal. Yeah, I loved it, though. It was so cool that there were boss battles. The bear again. Take that noisy orange thing with you. Yeah, here we go. All right. Now we're on the right track. Look at that. There's a mystery ice key. See, look. There's a key there. Hello, Walrus. You want to throw hands? Oh, you have no hands. See, I remember this mysterious key. Look, you see it's floating there. I'll, I'll, I'll secretly. What else you got over here? Too cold. Damn. There's one more. <clears throat> Whiz Pig was a fun boss, yeah. That whole game was so good. Like, they, they just, they nailed it with that game. Like, the fact that there was, like, little boss battles and stuff, it's so cool. Like, Whiz Pig is basically a giant final boss in a racing game. It's awesome. And there was, like, a little genie, genie elephant. Use a devastating beat pong aerial attack by pro okay. Huh. Trying to man, the mystery key. What is the mystery key? I remember this too. I remember being perplexed by that key. I'd be like, what is that? Maybe I can't continue until I get the shoes, because I can't... It seems like I gotta race that dumbass bear, and I don't have the shoes. I can't use the shoes yet. Yeah, the ice key on this file. I don't have any ice key. I think that's the last puzzle piece, is the bear. But I can't use the shoes. I might have to come back here. I thought I should see, but if I'm in this level, I, I thought I'd be able to use shoes by now. Maybe that's another stage that teaches you how to use the shoes. It's got to be it. That's the only thing left here. Guess I'll head out to the bear's house. <clears throat> <laughs> Come on, buddy. Try again. I can't wear the shoes. Don't you race the polar bear twice? Yeah, look. Press A to race. But look. I have to use the shoes. I don't have the shoes. I can't use them. See? I think I get the ability to use them later. Maybe I came to this level early? It's a world that required backtrack. Oh, okay, see, so I can't use them yet. So I am going to have to travel back here. Well, I guess we're done here for now, then, because um, this is the only thing left, is the one puzzle. That's it. So we have to back out. I'm going to play Chameleon Twist. You know, I've never played... What kind of game is that? I saw it all the time at Blockbuster, and I never rented it. I, I always thought the cover art looked really cool. I gotta remember to come here when I get the shoes. God, sparkling water. You guys remember another, uh, God, they had so many little animal games for N64. Uh, another one, anyone remember Buck Bumble? 
I never actually played that one, but I always thought the cover art looked awesome. It was like a, a, a bee that had like a laser gun or something. It was Buck Bumble. N64 is such a good console, man. It really was. It had a lot of fun exclusives. A lot of cool looking ones. I hate you, Snowman. Guess I'll go to the desert. Get me out of here. I gotta remember how to get to the desert. I think it was I think it was close by. Yeah, here we are. It's this area, I think. Uh, am I sick? Only we sand eels can survive in here. Ah, here we go. More facts. Grunty's best friend at witch school was the awful Sweaty Betty. Well, that wasn't her fault. When relaxing, she usually reads Big Butts and Guts magazine. We have similar tastes. <laughs> <laughs> While sipping a glass of her favorite smoothie, Elephant Sweat. Oh, that's fucking nasty. Oh, you poor dears. Your energy is low. Let me fill it up for you. After being disgusting. Wasn't one of the Gex games on N6 here? Yeah, Gex 64 and Gex 3 Enter the Gecko. I think it was 3. Yeah, those, those, I remember Gex, man. I used to love Gex. The humor in Gex is so outdated now, though, because it's all, like, old movie puns and stuff. Okay. Uh... Probably a puzzle piece in there. I don't know which way I came from. I think I came from downstairs. I thought I got stuck. Let's see if I have enough for this. 350. I do. Wheel 2 is a short 3D platform and it could a good idea going with it. There was another exclusive that I saw that I never played either. Uh, Mischief Makers. That was another one for N64 that I used to see all over the place. Gobi's Valley. I think we'll play up until after this level here and then I'll save the second half for the next time. Because I think that'll... After this one, I think that'll put us over the halfway point, actually. If I'm not mistaken, I can see how many levels there are. Because what have we done so far? Four? Did we beat our fourth level and we're going to the fifth, right? So we did the swamp, the first area, the snowy area, the beach. Yeah, we're going to level five, right? Lost track. Revolting Gruntilda's bedroom has smelly socks hanging from the ceiling. Should have been writing this all down. She also has a Veruca plant growing in a pot beside her bed. Filthy old bag. And you'd be sick if you saw her enormous spotty purple undies. Ew. Why would she have purple spots in her underwear? I don't even want to think of those ramifications. Shit's gross. Let's go to Gobi's Valley. You just stream Gek sometime? I was actually thinking about that earlier today because I just downloaded a 3DO emulator. And got it working. And they have Gex games on 3DO. Oh, the haunted level. I like this one. I don't know if I ever played the original Gex, though. I don't know if I did. I think the gameplay... I played the one on N64 that, that was Gex 3. It was like a Special Agent Gex or some shit. Like, it was like some James Bond uh, parody. 
All right. Let's stop wasting time and go to the Gobies Valley. It's one of the Halloween Town for Kingdom Hearts. I gotta play Kingdom Hearts on stream too sometime because I want to play the updated versions. Never played it, don't even know what it's about, other than it's a bit infamous. I guess it's fun. It, it, it's a basic platformer, really. It had, at the time, it had like edgy comedy and it was spoofing movies and things that did not age well, really. It's just like. If kids played Gex now and they made like the references he makes that are humorous, kids wouldn't even understand them anymore. They'd be like, what's that from? For old people like us. That good fairy is too much info about Gruntilda. That's why she's probably making up half of it. Gruntilda's just sitting there like, what the hell, man? Like, that's not even true. Why are you saying that? Sis. Gobi's Valley. About 11, 11 total worlds, nine main worlds, one overworld, hub world, and one. So it's 11. So we, what is this? Five? It's five, right? I think we're on five. Look at that ugly ass tree. See, this, this part very much reminds you of Donkey Kong 64 because you also had that desert area. How's your nuts, Bark Breath? <laughs> Kazooie, will exit feathers help? No, cough, cough, need water. You're right next to it. Here, have some of this. <laughs> I'm shitting in his mouth. I love that. Yeah, I see the sneakers. It's definitely where I get them. I want to play Gex on Game Boy Color? There's a Game Boy Color one? I don't even know that. I feel like games back then always had like these weird like ports that nobody ever knows about. There's so many. See, look, and in DK64, you also had like pyramids in different areas that, that had faces on them. Like, look, banjos. This is straight up like reskin. The uh, the DK64 one and this one are just like reskins of each other. Like, hey, we have a pyramid level there too. Let's just copy and paste it. Change it up a little bit. I saw that extra life. I'm gonna have to get that. The eyes open. Ah! Oh! Come on, man. Yes. I want that life. Save for Kingdom Hearts on Switch. Oh, yeah, no, it's that stupid cloud version. Hell no. I'll just get the PlayStation version. I would never play that on the Switch. Like, they're going to release a cloud version. Just don't release it. Like, it's fine. Other consoles have it. Oh, yeah, look. Hey, that tickles. No! Oh, I almost fell. It was Enter the Gecko. I can't even imagine what kind of game it was. Oh, that cleared Jinxie's nose. Come on in. Play Gex on 3DR. Remember, he had a TV remote. Levels were like channels on his TV. Yeah, see, I never had a 3D. When I was a kid, I didn't even know what the hell the 3D was. It was just one of those weird consoles that... It was basically just one of those weird consoles that wasn't Nintendo or Sega. Like, came out during an era where, like, there was... All this competition was attempting to take a slice of the market, but... Nintendo and Sega really had that stronghold. It's crazy that Sony lasted so long back in the day. They actually survived. And here we are. Uh. 
feed the magic dogs. I hate you. Ugh. Well, I got one. God of War Ragnarok, copy this guaranteed. Yeah, this is a uh, direct ripoff. <laughs> God of War Ragnarok is a direct ripoff of Banjo Kazooie. Clone games. What was your first console? Atari 2600 and NES. I had both as a kid. I used to love the Atari, like playing those games. Like now, don't get me wrong, like they have not aged well like NES games. Like most of those Atari games are garbage. <laughs> but I have classics in Donkey Kong, Pac-Man, the Atari versions that everyone says are bad now. You didn't think that when you were a kid. When you were a kid, you were playing it just fine. You're like, cool. It's just like the arcade. Nope. <laughs> but you tricked yourself into thinking so. That looks so hot in this area. Got my 3D off eBay for 50 in 2001 after it tanked. Wish I'd loaded up on the games back then, too. Yeah, I wonder what they go for now. Because they had different models, too. Like, usually they, they, they credit Panasonic 3DO, but 3DO was an entire, like, group of company. Because they, they were called the 3DO group. Panasonic had them. Gold Star made a 3DO. It's such a bizarre console. Right, remember Panasonic made a GameCube also? Panasonic has a GameCube, and it was a DVD player also. So weird. It was that silver GameCube. That thing was rare. Anyone have that, out of curiosity? I forgot what they called it. Oh, I'm dead. Yep. Better get credit for that Jinjo. Did you play an ET on the Atari? I owned it. I owned it and never knew what the hell to do in the game. <laughs> I had no idea. I think most people that had an Atari owned ET. It was exciting at the time. It was a cool movie based game. Wow. Big budget blockbuster and then that's the game. Yeah, it sucked. It sucked then and it sucks now. That Panasonic GameCube's gorgeous, chromed out. Yeah, it's sexy as hell. Looks better than the real Nintendo one. Although I, I was fond of the purple. Like like the little purple plastic toy look. I love the GameCube, man, because it just it looked like something for video game. Like it looked like a video game player. It didn't look like a big multimedia machine. It looked like something that was for playing video games strictly, and it was. Go. Oh shit! Well, time's running out. What the hell? Why would they start a timer like during a cutscene? Stupid man. It's <laughs> Gibdo. Arcade One Up's new lineup of the Wi Fi no longer needing risers. Yeah, well, most of them have been like that for a while now. Like, uh, most of the ones I, most of the new ones I have, like X Men vs. Street Fighter, uh, Terminator 2, like, those, those have Wi Fi built in, and most of them don't have risers anymore, which that's what they should have done from the beginning. But now, um, what they're doing is they're charging exorbitant amounts of money for those. Like, they, they originally started out as being, like, affordable arcades for the home, and now it's, like, now they're all uber expensive. <laughs> I only ever buy them when I can get them on, a, like, a good sale. 
Like Killer Instinct was like what, like six, seven hundred dollars or something like that? A ridiculous like Killer Instinct? One and two and Battle Toads? Like that's not worth that much. I just saw they put it on sale for like two ninety nine. I would love it, but I barely have any room left. Shit, that's too much. I'm eventually gonna uh, rig one of mine to be like a, a giant multi emulator machine. I'm actually gonna turn my Series X into an emulator machine because like they, you're able to get Retro Arc on here now. I think that's awesome. I'll put Retro Arc on here. You apparently just put it in like developer mode and then you can download the app. It's kind of cool. Just, just leave me alone. Harassing me. Oh, Mumbo's over here. Oh my god, please go away. I'm gonna run out of time. I'm gonna run out of time! No! Oh no, I got like two more! I literally had just like two more. Man. Oh, what? They put you all the way over here? I gotta walk all the way back over. Are you serious? Give me a break, man. Was thinking of getting the MK2 Legacy one, and they're releasing it with the Wi-Fi. I saw that. They uh, re-released it, it with the Mortal Kombat 1 style. Uh, but it's got MK1, 2, and 3. Well, it's, it's the Legacy one, but with... Um, I don't think it has the same amount of games, though. But it does have Wi-Fi in the light-up marquee. I got the Mortal Kombat 2 Legacy one. Uh, it doesn't have Wi-Fi, and it doesn't have the light-up marquee, but... It does have like 12 games. <laughs> so, and I got rid, I'm getting rid of my Rampage machine because um, the Rampage one, the Mortal Kombat 2 Legacy one, it has all the games in it that the Rampage one has. Like the Rampage machine, all those are in that machine too. Oh, that's not a life. Yeah, but I'm definitely gonna I'm gonna hack one of those machines to um be like a full blown emulator. I don't know why I talked to this thing again. I didn't mean to. Stupid looking tree. I really hope Cole isn't the next MK film. He will be. He will be. I still think that that would have all worked better as a show. Focusing on individual characters. There's too much story to tell. I'm missing one down there. Let's see if I see the musical note. Because the one I'm missing, I'll just come down. I'll go down there real quick and get it. I think there's only one. the hell is it? There it is. Ah! Oh, there's more than one. Whatever. I'll sacrifice myself for the music. You know what was 14? The extra two or version of it? Oh, you know what? The reason I didn't buy it? Uh, the Legacy Machine was going, it was like originally crazy expensive and I saw it at Walmart for $150 on clearance. That's why I ended up buying it. It was too good of a deal. I couldn't find that deal anywhere. And they only had like two left and it was completely clearance out. It's a cool machine. There's the shoes. Yeah, but the amount of games I don't care about as much because like, for, I got most of the machines just to like, fill out the room and make it like a cool gaming area but eventually I'm going to make the ultimate machine and have a bunch of games in there and not buy any more of the arcade one-ups because once you have one turned into like a mega emulator you don't you don't need to keep buying a bunch of those I need the boots whatever I'll sacrifice some health it's worth it Kamikaze Banjo! Oh no. 
<laughs> I live. Rabba's got a jiggy. Ner, ner, ner. K3 and ultimate see like and that's kind of that's kind of waste like that's what I mean they, they kind of artificially Advertise more games than because like You don't need Mortal Kombat 3 when you already have ultimate it doesn't make any sense Like why would you ever want to play regular Mortal Kombat 3 versus ultimate? There's the shoes I gotta remember to go back to ice place There's a bunch of stuff on the pyramid. I'm missing a bunch of shit. Let me go in order. Let me go up here. What's thing? One thing that's nice about having this on HD, like modernized the remaster, uh, is the fact that you can see all these objects from like really far away. Whereas you know on N64 they'd like pop in. You can't see it here. It's all HD up, so you can see everything clearly. Ah, look at that. Let's go to the pyramid. Same with the mini version of Street Fighter. Yeah, exactly. Like, why would you want to play... If you have Super Street Fighter 2, in what world would you ever play basic barebone Street Fighter 2? In slow motion. <laughs> why? Why? Why would you? Nobody would. Like, just put the best version of the game on there and call it a day, man. Oh man, I need the shoes. Well, at least I can get the obstacles, or the, uh, collectibles. Okay, I got an extra life. Like so. I need to get up on the back of that Sphinx and fly. There's a camel over there, too. Let's get the shoes. Ah! Haha, <laughs> yeah. No, I've had that a thousand years! Well done, mortal. Bye, Grabba. Ba bum ba bum. Shiva maids would want OG MK3. Oh yeah, you know Shiva was in uh the console. Well, hold on, was it? I just made a video on this. It was the home console versions of uh MK3. They cut her out, I think. Or was it the arcades? I don't remember now. I made it. I talked about it in the video I made about Shiva in my history Shiva video. Or was it the arc? It was the arcade, right? That they cut her out of, but she's in the home console for it. That's what it was. Jojo. So that is technically true. I guess that's one reason. Did I do this already? Doesn't matter, let's go flying. Shiva. Alright, here we go. I'm 
I'm gonna fly and hit that target, and hopefully something, something magical happens. Actually, you know what? First, first I'm gonna get that skull. I'm gonna fly through that cactus so I can get rid of the uh, honeycomb. I flew right over it. Well, got to turn around, and get it. All right, cactus. Here we come. Here we come. Ah! Damn it! Oh, I got it this time. That's a direct hit. All right, and then we got a target over here. We got another ring over there. I need some feathers. I'm stuck in the tree. Damn it. Turn. I wish there was a lock on. It's hard to gauge like where he's going to aim. What? No. I was aiming. I was clearly directing, aiming at the, at the bullseye directly. Game live. Okay, let's go down there now. And hopefully not mess this up. I gotta remember there's something on the sides over there. There's a slope. What's this goofball doing in here? All right, let's see what he wants. <laughs> Hello, my friend. I am Ruby. Can I be of some help? We're looking for treasure, pipe boy. Very good. I see some up there. It's yours if you can get it, yes? Uh, up where? Oh. Here, let's poop this out. There we go. See, he wants some of my egg turds. Maybe just have to keep doing that. Yeah, look, it's getting faster. Ah, a thousand thanks, my friend. Histup will now help you with your quest. There he goes. Sweet. I'm out. <laughs> Fart noise caught me off guard, yeah, look. I love it. All right, I gotta fly over there. Oh, look at that. There's like a. Damn it. You know what? Let me. Getting so distracted here. You know, let me get these two. These two notes. I, I keep passing by these over and over, and I don't get them. Let me just get that shit out of the way. Yahoo! I lost track of what I'm missing. I've been kind of skipping around in this world. Oh, I haven't gone to the camel yet, have I? Oh. Serious kind of a pain in the ass. Who knew that some Egyptian ass, like, ancient site would have a bunch of mini games? Now they're just playing with me. Who built these mechanisms? Speaking of Resident Evil. Let's meet George Trevor.
I gotta do one more. Damn. Now I just... Wonder why they changed Kazooie's eggs. They changed Kazooie's eggs in Smash? I don't remember. What did they change the, the projectile to? She always had eggs. Don't fall. Did, did Kazooie have something different in Banjo-Tooie, maybe? That wasn't eggs? Tell me that. I didn't play Tooie. Hopefully RE4 Remake has more eggs for Leon to find, maybe. Well, maybe, maybe, I don't know, eggs are expensive now. <laughs> I don't know how many eggs I'll have. This is King Sandy Butt's tomb. Turn back or face his wrath. All right, that King Sandy ass over here. Chose not to get her warning. Prepare to run. Huh. Great, we got a maze. I hope I have enough time. I want to. I want to get everything I can collect. It's also gonna get me killed. Oh, it's this way. Chris, this way. Oh, damn it. I thought there was an opening over there. Wait, I saw something. I'm gonna miss it. I saw something there. It was worth it. I gotta remember to get that. But I might have screwed myself out of time. Oh, yeah. Ooh, two seconds left. Two seconds. Good lord, that was close. All right, we got two gingers left. Oh no, just one. We got a yellow one left. Wherever the hell his ass is. Shit, that was a butt clench. Yeah, it was literally like that was like a second and a half left. Holy crap. Okay, that tomb's done. <sighs> what have I done yet? Oh, the camel. I still haven't seen the camel. I've gone over there. I need that Aladdin carpet to come get me. Come on. I'll just go over there. Oh, I remember that water's the tree. Here's your reward, Bear. Go, he's off to cool down. Cool. Damn it. I gotta wait for the carpet. Oh, damn it. No. No. Whatever, I'll go this way. Oh, I thought I could walk over there. <sighs> See, did I ever... Did I do this? I, I went in here, but I don't know if I succeeded. Whatever I had to do. Let's see. I think I did, actually. Oh, no, this is why I'm running out of time. That's right. All right, feather. Is that the banjo face? No, kazooie face. Oh, I know where the banjo face is. Fuck. No. Okay, we got the kazooie face. We know where that is. This mummy is irritating. Musical note. Oh, that was Bumbo. Egg? Hit 
Here. This was the honeycomb. I got it this time. This time we're good. Mumbo, he was right here. Oh, that is irritating. Stop. Up my ass. Ah, and if I get hit one more time, I die. So I have to be careful. There. Oh my god, got it. Fantastic. See, I think now if we go by the tree, I think that the camel's over there, and then you hit his back and he spits water at the tree, I think. Let, let us go find out. This is almost shaped like the like the Donkey Kong 64 desert area too. Bunch of little like different like uh, pyramids and little islands. It's just like it. I got some health and I lost it all. Awesome. Oh look over there. I haven't gone over there yet. We're over here. Okay, what? Well, hold on. We got to do this. Shit. Let's try and climb up there. Banjo and smash Banjo because we didn't bring Suzanne use her as an egg gun. She shoots the eggs out of her beak so she doesn't have the, the ass eggs. See? Those. <laughs> oh, look. This dude's just chilling over here. Nice. Oh, God. I gotta talk to him again. Asking him about his nuts. Here we go. Yeah, I remember this. It's not gross. It was spitting water in its mouth. Ah, lovely water. Trunker feels great. All right, we're doing our good deeds. Um, I gotta check what I have left. Oh God, My ass hurts. See, can I run in the hot sand with these? Doesn't matter, I can make it. I have plenty of lives, I don't care. <laughs> it's better than the slow ass boots. Look, there's another life right there too. If I lose it now, doesn't matter. Yeah. It's okay, game, do your worst. Deku Tree can survive a drought in Trunker, yeah. The Deku Tree didn't survive a, 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 a bug monster going inside of it. Goma. You know in the manga, when they kill Link, kills Goma by shooting it in the eye once with a slingshot. And then it turns into a little, a regular little bug. Like, that's its true form, it's just a little bug. Okay. Where was I gonna fly? There was a... Uh... Oh, can I fly through here? What's this do? Anytime I see... This is Superman 64. Oh no, we're playing Superman 64 now. Freaking Banjo-Kazooie edition. Why was flying through rings such a thing? There was one point during this era where it's like, Hey, we can make 3D games. Let's, let's do ring challenges. The games had quite a bit of this kind of shit where you just fly through rings and stuff even Star Fox like why <laughs> why was that a trend where's that one run out of damn feathers oh it's over there oh my lord that is far away Make it. I must. This is training for Superman 64 exactly. Seriously.
Oh, that's right next door. Only joking, mortal. We can only give you this. Ah, the treasures of the pyramids. Majora's Mask Mario 64 just swimming through rings. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. There was always something like through rings. Why? <laughs> I've never said why that became a thing. And it absolutely was a thing. Where was I going? Oh, you know what? Hold on over here. It was on the sides. Shit, now I don't know where the fuck it is. There was an area on the sides with a slope. Was it here? Yeah, right here. There we go. 94. I'm still missing some notes. Bah, that's it. I'm leaving this desert to find some peace and quiet. This poor camel. Getting bashed all around for no reason. Alright, well, let's do a, a, a status check here. Alright, we need two more puzzle pieces and six more notes. I guarantee you it's notes I went by several times already, too. Probably out in the sand somewhere. And two more puzzle pieces. Where the hell? Oh, I see. Why is there a puzzle piece over there? I thought I got that already. Oh, the Jinjo that dropped it off. That's right. I forget there's one for getting all the Jinjos. I didn't mean to do that. Pilot Wings, Wave Race, and Mario Golf all had ring challenges too. Yeah, there you go. See, the examples keep flying. No. Uh. Where is the puzzle piece that was right there? You guys saw that, right? What? I I didn't imagine that puzzle piece, right? Here, I'll let the birds get that. What? Wait a minute. What happened to it? Th that better not be a glitch. Where now I can't get it. It better not be. I'll be so pissed. I don't know why why else that would have done that. <laughs> just like really fine because he doesn't want this jiggy. How would I? But how would I get it back? Must have despawned when you left the area. But is it gone forever? <laughs> it can't be. I earned that piece, man. No, there's got to be an explanation. I'm not going to make it. There's no way. Damn, and there's no save state or files that I can go back. Like, it just saves where you are now. Ja, I was right there. You serious? I was right there, man. This is not my this is not my luck tonight. I'm about to look up that puzzle piece.
Alright. Gotta go fast. Like Sonic. Gotta go fast. Faster. What? Bullshit. No. <laughs> like I said, this is not my evening. The game is not doing things for my favor at all. Like, yo, you literally have to do this by, like, a split second. Like, a split second mess up ruins the whole thing. <laughs> what the fuck? What? You see, like, I keep making it right at the end. It just pushes me right back up. <laughs> what is happening right now? What is happening? Maybe I could jump somewhere and take a shortcut. Maybe that's it. I wish I could just body slam down there. Here, I'll jump. Maybe that's faster. Although probably not. I think it might be slower. Oh, look, that, that shaved off a couple seconds right there. I think that's the key. Yeah. Suck it! Oh my god. I thought it was gonna push me back up. <laughs> I was getting pissed off. Oh, man. How annoying. Well, there's the last couple of the notes. Well, no, never mind. There's still some left. I need that jiggy. I need to get jiggy with it. Remember Banjo was a character on the first Sega All-Stars Racing Xbox version? Was he? I didn't know that. My son has that game on the Wii U, though. All Star. Well, one of the Sonic All Star or Ultimate. No, wait, that's different. Either it's a Sonic one that, that came out recently. That's got Wreck It Ralph for some reason. You know, I bet you I left some in here. <coughs> I'm so mad about that puzzle piece. It better, I want a perfect file. If I don't get that puzzle piece, if it's gone for good, like I'm, what do I do? Like none of the other puzzle pieces despawn if you don't get them. I don't think. Maybe they do. Maybe you collect another jiggy. Maybe the lost one came back. I'm gonna go look. Still missing a couple notes. All right, see an extra light. Let's look up top. Maybe we can see from here. Don't see anything. Yeah, we're going back to the main entrance. The jiggy has to be there. It has to be. It's not there. Why? Why? I'm gonna Google it. That had to happen to someone else. Let me leave and come back. Maybe it'll come back. There's hope. Actually, let's get the one that's on the vase up here. Because if it doesn't come, I think that's the last one I need. Can't even get this. Let me go over here. Oh. See now the BS is starting. The the BS of, of I should be able to get things, and now the game's taking them away from me. There's always BS on these streams. Nothing can ever go smoothly. Nothing.
Jiggy? Jinjo Jiggy? No! I'm gonna Google it. Banjo Kazooie. Gobi's Valley. Disappearing. Uh, Jiggy. One forum says to reboot the game to make the Jiggy come back. Really? Oh, look. I found all Jinjos in Gobi Valley, but no Jiggy. Also, it won't sense that I find a target. This is glitch. You probably got the last Jinjo in the maze inside the vase. The piece was there and you didn't see it. It happened to me too and wasted a lot of time. See, but the last Jinjo I got was here. All right. Well, maybe I'll just, yeah, maybe I'll do that and reboot the game. Let's see. Banjo's game ends in my tower. Turn it up. I need full power. Yes, your grunty ship. Transformation soon be complete. Help me, Banjo. I feel all funny. Oh, yeah. I think when you gex at the game, they do game over. It's great. Grunty wins. Because you didn't finish the quest. See, so look at Grunty now. I love how she sounds all sexual. Oh, 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 oh. Later. <laughs> Yeah, I'm on different forums here that that all having issues like that. Yeah, look, other people are in the same situation. Even after doing it again, I'm stuck at nine ten, no jiggy in sight. What? That had. Let me quit out of it completely and reload it. We'll do that. If that's the case, that sucks, man. I in the future I'll have to do another playthrough of mine just to get the uh the, the all all the hundred percent. Alright, let's see if it came back. So it said I've had this glitch as well. I know where it came from as well. The Jinjos. The damn Jinjos. I got all the Jinjos but didn't get the jigsaw after picking up the last one. But it's nice to read the above comments see that it won't prevent me from finishing the game. It's the Jinjos. Apparently there's a Jinjo glitch. I should have gotten it the second I saw it. I didn't mean to touch the damn warp pad. When you touch the warp pad, it should ask you, would you like to use the warp pad? Instead of just being like, oh, bye. <laughs> what? Wait a minute. Do you see this? What happened to all my lives? Did I have that little amount of lives? Wait, hold on. Did I load the right file? Yeah, I should have had over nine lives, right? Do the lives not save? Wait, wait, hold on. I gotta double check. Oh my god, I gotta see this again? Oh, thank god. All right. Play a game. No, yeah, this is mine. 51 jigsaws. Okay. Why didn't it save my lives? Did you say there's no save? You just exit. Well, I mean, it clearly saved my stuff. Cause it said I had like 50 some jigsaw pieces. This is weird. Some, I feel like something's weird. Let's go over here. Yeah, cause look, all this is open. So it definitely saved. 
But I guess the lie. What? <laughs> why are my lives reset? I don't understand why my lives are reset. Well, here, let's put some puzzle pieces here now that we're here. <coughs> That's bullshit. That over nine lives, man. I most definitely did. Alright, Clanker's Cavern. That's what we'll be. Next time we'll do that. But let me get back to. I want that Jiggy. If the Jiggy's not back, it's completely gone. It's screwed. And that sucks. I gotta remember how the hell I got to the valley now. It was through here, right? Maybe. <coughs> Absolute nonsense. Didn't you choose game two? I don't think so. Well, no, I couldn't have, because I only had... Game three was a, a different file I had going. Yeah, look, because this is game one. Uh, let's just go through here. Yeah, there's the valley. Yeah, this is my file. It just reset my lives. I guess it does that. I, I didn't know. Let's see what happened. <laughs> the Jiggy's gone forever. I think it's it's just forever gone. We we've got two more musical notes though. Where where oh where could they be? Yeah, if you look up Gobi Gobi Valley glitch, yeah, it's a thing. Look, I'm missing a Jiggy. Can someone help me? Banjo Kazooie Gobi Valley. Reddit. Let's see what this says here. Oh no, this person missing in Clockwood, whatever. I think I ruined my chance to get all the jiggies. So I've been doing research on Google to find out why, but I'm on Gobi Valley and have 9 out of 10 jiggies. The reason why is because I didn't get the Jinjo jiggy. Is there any way to fix this? Because my OCD is going to kill me if I can't get every jiggy. I feel like I wrote this post. If you were on the Xbox and the last Jiggy was the Jinjo Jiggy and you spawned it but didn't collect it and left the world, you are not able to get it again. Well. That Jiggy is forever gone. So, lesson learned. If you play the Xbox version and you see a puzzle piece from a Jiggy or from a Jinjo, you get it immediately. The damn thing is gone. It's gone. It's gone forever. That's such BS. <coughs> well, it's not going to be a perfect file. We might as well say screw it to these two musical notes. <laughs> Let's just leave. Unbelievable. See, look, you just... Look, look. It doesn't, it doesn't ask you to confirm anything. It's just like, oh, you want to go? Okay, cool. Ruined. I'm not getting jiggy with it. You knew something was going to happen. I did not, in fact, get jiggy with it tonight. All right, we'll, we'll go to Clanker's Cavern and save in there. Then we'll do the rest next time. I'm over these jiggies. These musical notes, they kiss my ass. My perfect file's ruined now forever. Ruined, I say. Ruined. Unbelievable. They should retro retroactively give me a refund. Dick move to put the teleporter right in front of that. Yeah, I know, right? Like, I was literally just rushing through it. Corner of your foot grazes the teleporter, so you're like, ah, vanish. And it's funny because that Reddit forum um, specified the Xbox version. So I, in the N64 version, I don't think that issue is there. Like, it's pretty much, it's for the Xbox version in particular that that happens. Amazing. Great job, Microsoft. Game Studios. Such nonsense. It is what it is. I'll forever be feeling uh, the sig of this incomplete profile. There's the achievement too for getting all 900 musical notes, but at this point I'm like, screw it. If it's not gonna be a perfect file, I don't want it. <laughs> I'll wait till I do a perfect run. One day. 
Let's probably take three strings with you. Maybe. Shit, I guess it depends on uh now if I decide to perfect file everything. Now is no point. Uh, where the hell is Clanker's Cavern? Is here? Otto's down here. No, oh, I've been here. It's kind of good knowing you encounter a problem in a game. There's people out there going through the same. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of the forums, too. Like, it's helpful looking it up because when you have an issue like that, you know, like you said, other people... Again, in the forum, shows that other people have the exact same problem I did. Um, also, the fact that it resets your lives, I find that so bizarre. I like, I don't, I don't feel that's normal. Like, I'm wondering if that's a weird Xbox transition thing that that that's not supposed to happen, but still happened, like the puzzle piece. Because I absolutely had over nine lives so much that. My lives weren't going down, you know? And that suddenly it just resets you back to the regular three. It's bizarre. <laughs> I remember how to get to the damn, uh... Clanker's Cavern. I don't think it was this way. Oh, God. Sit down here. I, I went there before, too. Earlier. A pain in the ass. Donkey Kong Country did that? Always start with five? Why? Like, you work so hard to earn all those lives. And then just because you don't beat the game in one sitting, they strip it from you? I don't like that. I don't like that at all. <clears throat> Alright, we're back in the ice place. <sighs> oh, you know what? It doesn't matter, actually, if I save when I get there, because if I exit the game, it's going to start me off at the beginning of Grunty's Mountain anyway, I think. So I'll just save now. Let's look at the achievements. They're red and no less than 30 of them need chomping. Enough said. What? Oh, look, I got that. Learn all be interesting. I got that today. Uh, collect all 24 of the extra honeycomb pieces. Complete the all oh, the fun quiz and win the star prize. 900 notes. Bump into Grunty's disowned spellbook three times. Bet you thought jigsaws were boring. Bottle disagree and has seven of them to be solved. Fear the Jijinator. If you're a witch, that is the Jijinator lays the smackdown on witches. Well, at least we'll get that. Hopefully. We just gotta keep getting all the Jinjos. There's Jinjos here, too, I think. Alright. We'll exit game. I've had it with the puzzle pieces for today. Ah, <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, I think we'll do all the levels, get all the Jinjos, and then we'll get the Jinjos in the castle and get the Jinjonator. That'll be the main focus. It's, instead of 100% of the file, we'll just focus on the Jinjonator and getting through the the missions. But uh, yeah, that was Banjo Kazooie. Very very fun game, amazing game. The N64 version, the Xbox version has that glitch, ruined it. Uh, no, but for real, it's an awesome game. Get it if you can. But yeah, we'll cut it there. Um, I've got videos coming up this week, but if you haven't watched my Metroid video, that's up currently on the channel. Um, Friday, we're going to stream... What are we doing? Dead Space. We're going back to Dead Space on Friday. We're going to do Dead Space Remake stream number two. Get as far as we can and probably get near semi by the end game. Probably not because I'll probably get distracted by side missions. And then Monday, we're going to do Resident Evil Zero, stream number one. So, fun times ahead. But everyone, enjoy the rest of your week. I will see you Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Game over.